Uh, Except that no, it, it's no, in actually. the base. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they they look kind of same, and they're both like four X games, but uh, that's basically where the similarities end. Yeah, Eclipse, in my opinion, more economy based, isn't it? Or like more, yeah, like, this is uh, like a uh, euro gamey. This is definitely more of a euro game. Yeah. So there is not uh, so much of like um, uh, anything. Uh, any com that it's not so combat or diplom diplomacy focused. Uh, how do I get to the server or? Uh, the server is uh, laudapelit.fi eclipse, and I think okay. I sent you the password ah, okay. there. Yeah. So I'll just a open the tabletop simulator and yeah. Belzebub is also asking for the password there. Yeah, I actually sent the password to him also. I'll add him to the voice channel now also. Yeah, great. So you're having four players, so I'd hope you would you would set yourself to the player color so that we have like uh, two on one side and two on one side and then once ah, okay. in so between I would be empty. So one of probably you probably will have to change on this side. Okay, so do you mean that we are on the on the far sides of on, on both sides or? Yeah, for example. Yes, so, so one of you get become yellow or red. Yes. Okay. Yeah, let's hope that Belzebub for also white finds and yellow way now. <laughs> yeah, it could be great if we have white and yellow and uh, green and blue yeah. as the player colors. Yeah. Okay. Uh, or purple and green or or what? What? Oh uh, yeah. As long as oh, the two uh, two spaces that are left open are on opposite sides of each other. Hello. Okay. All right. Okay. Hello. Is so. it Belzebub on the channel? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Did you get to tabletop simulator yet? Not. No. I don't think I uh, see you yet. No, it's not here yet. It is asking for server password. Yeah. I actually sent it sent it to you. I can send it again. Uh, ah. Okay. No. I found it. Okay, great. So yeah, could you take the yellow player color, preferably? That way I can set up the game nicely. Have you all used... Does it matter whether I, I'm purple or, or uh, green? Uh, the colors don't matter in the game because I think we're playing okay. all as humans who are all the same. There are some uh, oh. asymmetric alien races that you could use also, but it's probably easier to explain if everybody is human and playing the same mm -hmm. way. So if these colors are okay to you, we can start to set up. So just a moment, I'll just set the stream live. Yes, the stream is live now. So, for everybody, welcome to Eclipse. Let's start by taking our player player mats. They are located on the other side of the board here. Are we yeah. still missing one player or is every... Uh, no, we have uh, ah, four okay. players. Uh, uh, Belzebuth, okay. can you take the uh, yellow uh, player card? You can click your name on the top of... on the right top right uh, of the screen. Yeah, and then you'll get to uh, select the player color. But before I do, um, I don't know if uh, I will be available the whole game long, so I'm not sure if it's uh, wise to... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> to okay, the game uh, will uh, usually takes you... something like three hours. Yeah. And how long do you plan to play? Is it for the whole game? Or uh, if you're all wishing for it, we can, of course, play the whole game. 
because I, I don't have so much time, I think. Okay. So then... We can also we can also do like a uh, three player game or if you'd like you can start the game and then I can take over for your player if it's okay for all of you. I think that's the best option so then we have like a nice setup with four. Yeah. Okay. And I've got uh, seen two three player games so far. So let's have a four player games here. So you can take the yellow color yeah. and I can I can change up for you when you have to leave. Okay. So over here we have the human races. They are the top row and the lowest row. So uh, when you take your, there is the uh, your Terran tiles are located under the tile on top of your player color. So for example, here is the blue player. Here would be the green players. Mm -hmm. Here is the white player, and here is the yellow player. So take your tiles. I can do it for the white player. It will, well. Actually, not like so that. It should minute, allow you to take this board to start which with. Which was the green player? Uh, the green player is the lowest, l left, low left. Wait, uh, how did I grab this? Just here. So it should give you your player board, your ambassador tokens, and your starting hex. Do I? I just dragged it here. Yes, you can just drag it, drag it to your place. Just orient it so that the arrow shows to the middle. Which arrow? Uh, there is a small arrow in the hex. Ah. Oh, yeah, I just, just took the player what? board. Yeah. Which one? Is uh, the uh, where is the board? hex? Uh, here is the yellow player's board. Uh, the hex oh, is the third one in the uh, pile. Thank you. The one with the, the circle in it. Like this, yeah. Yeah, you were on. They were, they were out yeah. to a line. It's a line. I just rotate one, one to the left. I usually yeah, just it. Yeah, I, I recommend you all set the uh, rotation degrees on top of the screen to 30%. That works okay. best for this game. Great, so you should all have now your player board, your ambassador uh, so where, can where do I get the... Where do I get the... I, I don't have the upper... I'm, I haven't used this in a while. Where do I get the interface on the top? Uh, let's see, I don't actually see where it comes. Actually, I have no idea where you, where you get that visible, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's always visible for me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh. So yeah, now that you... Let's figure that out in a moment. But now that you have your starting area here, you can take control of it. So on your board here, you have these uh, influence disks. That's the lowest, lowest row of the items in front of your name. Mm -hmm. And you start by taking the leftmost disc and put it on the middle of the hex. So this disc signifies that you have control of the hex. There mm -hmm. are also, on the sector there are planets. And these planets are marked with these um, production squares. So y on your board here, down there you have these three production tracks that correspond to the three mm -hmm. resources in the game. We have brown, which is materials, pink, which is science, and orange, which is money. So you should take the first cube from each of these tracks and put it on the same planet of the same color. And here on your board, you have these, uh, you have two pink hexes and two, uh, two pink squares and two orange squares. And on the other square of their color, they have this star symbol. So don't use that spot with the star. That's okay. an advanced, advanced spot. You'll be uh, mm -hmm. getting a uh, technology later in the game probably to use it. And then you should uh, set up your resources. So you have these three markers for material science and money that go around the uh, production sheet. Mm -hmm. So put them so that you have four materials. I'll show here on the yellow player. And uh, three science and three money. So those will be your starting resources. 
Same for everyone? Same for everyone, yeah. We're all playing as humans, so they have you're all the same in the beginning. Right. Yeah. And so after this I can start going through the game. Totally. The setup is now basically complete. So the game will take eight rounds. And after eight rounds we count victory points and the player with the most points is the winner. And each round consists of four phases. We have action phase, combat phase, upkeep phase and a cleanup phase. And during action phase you'll all be taking actions one action at a time and you can take as many actions as you wish during a round until you pass so to start with for example if yellow was our first player here he would take one action by taking the leftmost disc of his influence track here and putting it here on the board on one of these six actions our actions are explore research upgrade build move or influence so the game would progress so that you would take one action, complete it, then it would be the next player taking actions and so on, and when it comes to your turn again, you get to do another action. And you can do the same action as many times as you wish. And to start going through our actions, the first action here would be explore. So that would be uh, the main way of finding new areas here on the board. So to explore... Um, yeah. Could you change to red so we can see your hand better? Uh, let's see if I can take another color here yeah it's dark gray is hard to see i'll take the Thanks. i'll take the red one red one as a player so <laughs> yeah yeah so to explore you can check on your hex you have these wormhole connections these half circles mm -hmm. so these are all the ways that you can explore too and we have three areas on the board we have sector one sector two and sector three which goes on forever and when you explore, for example, if you would explore to sector 3 here, you would check we have here sector 1, sector 2 and sector 3 tiles. So you would take one sector 3 tile from here. And you would flip it. And then you would orient it so that the uh, wormhole connects. So you couldn't put it like this, because the wormhole mm -hmm. doesn't connect. So for example, this would be good. And when you explored, if it has this symbol in the middle, you would get one discovery tile as a reward for exploring. And the discovery tiles will give you many different bonuses during the game, or you can take them as two victory points if you don't like the bonus. I think I'll go through them when you find it, find them actually. And then when you explore, you can take control of the area. So this is still part of the same action. You can take another disc from here and put it in the middle of the hex to signify that you, you now control this area. And then if you even find planets on the hex you explore, you can colonize them with cubes. But to colonize you will have to use your colony ships that are around here. So to put one cube down you would have to flip one colony ships. In this case we would flip two colony ships and take cubes from the respective tracks and add them to these areas here. This hex is it's also all part of the explore action. Yeah, this is all a part of the explore action. Okay. And this hex is also contains some other things. For example, here we have a warp hole, which will mean this is actually a wormhole like these others, but this would connect to another hex with this symbol, even if the hex is over on the other side of the board. So they would mm -hmm. be neighbors still. It's a way to make the galaxy feel slightly smaller. But yeah, that's the basic explore action. Then the next action we have here is research. And with the research action you will be able to take more, you will be able to spend your science to gain uh, technologies that will allow you to do different things, upgrade your ships or colonize the advanced planets on your hexes and all the stuff like that. And actually to so show you that I'll probably just start the game and go through all the rules after that. For this actually I have to change my color back to the black for a moment so that the script doesn't fail us with the player count related things. So from here we will take next round and as you can see it will populate the uh, tech tray with different technologies mm -hmm. that are available to you. 
And with the research action you get to research one of these technologies. You can take any of them, you don't need to have the one before it on the track. Mm -hmm. But the important thing here is that each of these costs you science. It's the bigger, bigger number in the pink circle, that is the cost of the tile. And you have to pay that number of science, for example if you were to research nanorobots. You would pay two science and take the tile. And then you would go to your board here, let's flip it, and you would put it on the same color track. So you would, for example, this, you would use this one, and then pay for two science. And now as you see, uh, this was the whole action of researching. But now as you see, as you populated this with one tech, the next tech you would buy of the yellow color would be actually, you will be getting minus one discount in science for that tech. Mm. And that's where the smaller black number comes to play. That is the minimum cost the tech will ever be for you. For, so for example, if you have one tech here and you would buy, buy the nanobots, you would still have to pay the two science for it. Mm -hmm. And each round there will, be, uh, there will be always new techs that come available here on the board. That is dependent on the player color, the player amount. So that's why I had to momentarily change mm -hmm. my change my hand color. Yep. And the basic things, these uh, all these technologies, what they do are actually labeled here. If you hold down Alt or Command, you can check what they do. But most of these are related to uh, ship parts that you can uh, then upgrade on your ships. And I'll probably go through them as they come. But there are also these. These are rare technologies, these black ones. All of these are standard technologies and there will be multiples of each other. So for example here, if someone bought the nanorobots, no one would be able to buy nanorobots until it comes available in a later round in the game. But these rare technologies this you have only one tile of each come up and if you take a rare te technology then no one else will get that technology in the game and they're sure. usually quite powerful and when you buy a rare tech you can actually put them on any track on your board and get the discount for that track but yes let's go to the next action so the next action would be this upgrade action because this uh, relates directly uh, to the uh, technologies that you might buy. Because, For example, let's say you bought the Plasma Cannon deck. This will then allow you, you, you see you have four different ship types in the game. You have Interceptors, Cruisers, Dreadnoughts and Star Bases. I'll actually change my color back to the red one so you can see me. And all these uh, different uh, ship types are represented by these blueprints on top of your player board. So you have these Interceptor, Cruiser, Dreadnought and Starbase blueprints. And these will actually uh, tell you how your ships will behave in game. And actually uh, to begin with I forgot you should all get one Interceptor on your starting hex. So one of these smallest ships. And we have basically we have six types of ship parts. We have weapons that will of course deal damage computers that will help you hit your targets. Then we have shields which makes your enemies harder to hit you. And hulls are extra hit points for your ships. Drives will tell you how to move. And energy sources will power all of these parts. So the most important thing is these energy sources. For example to start with you have nuclear source on your interceptor. And your ion cannon and your nuclear drive both take one energy to operate. So you would be able to build one more ion cannon here. And when you do the upgrade action you will get two ship path tiles. And the ship path tiles are actually here on the main board. So these five are the standard parts that anybody can upgrade at any time. And these are uh, the advanced ship parts that you will need for example the plasma cannon tech to build plasma cannon parts. But these mm. don't cost you any resources, just when you take the upgrade action you can take two of any tile that you have access to. And then for example, e let's e say... Even the same and put them on the different ship types or... Yeah, you could take for example like, to start with you could take two ion cannons. And to start with you could put an ion cannon here, because there is still three energy used. But you couldn't put an ion cannon here on your dreadnought. Because then you would be taking four 
energy in total and you're only producing three at the moment, but you could put it there in your cruiser. Okay. But that will always give you two tiles of any kind and there is no resource payment. Then build action here will actually let you build two things. So here when building you will use your materials. And on top of these, all these blueprints, you have the building cost for each si ship type. And actually, to build star bases, you would need a technology, but all humans start with the star base technology to begin with. And star bases are a special type of ship that uh, they can't move, of course, and you can't upgrade drives to them. And also in the later game, if you gain technologies for the orbitals or monoliths, you can also build those with the build action with these costs here. And when you build things, you can put them to any sector you have control on. And you have control on any sector you have this influence disk. And then pretty self-explanatory is here is the move action. And move action will allow you to do three move activations. And each move activation will allow you to move one ship according to its engine value. So to start with, we all have just nuclear drives that will allow us to move one hex. So if we had an hex out here, for example, you could move your ship here. So you can basically move three ships for one hex, or you could move one ship for three hexes. But you can only move to already explored hexes and through wormhole connections. And then the last action here is influence. This is slightly more advanced and you probably won't need it in the first few rounds of the game at all. But the influence action will allow you to manipulate two influence disks you have. So for example, if you have a sector that you don't want to control anymore, you can take back its disk and put it back on your track here. An influence action here will also allow you to flip two colony ships. So for example, if you've used all your ships and you'd like to colonize another planet, you could take the influence action to flip two ships back to their usable side. Um, you, I can either uh, flip or, or take the... Um, this no, you can do both. You can do both, both, always when you take the action. So we go like this, so everybody takes all their actions. So for example, like yellow player takes these actions, other player have taken all their actions. You do one action per time and going to the next player. But after you think that you have, you're have finished for this round, you have here your action reminder. This will actually tell you quickly what your all your actions are. And when you'd like to pass, you will just flip this. And if you're the first player to pass, you will actually get the start player marker for the next round and you will immediately get two more money for being the first one to pass. And after you passed, still if other players continue until other players have not passed, you can still do reactions. So you have these three reactions here on your pass card. So they're basically like upgrade, move, up upgrade, build and move actions, but they're just weaker than the standard ones because you can do them only once. But yeah, that's your basic action phase. Don't worry, I'll be going through this when we play actually the game, if this was a Slightly a uh, fast explanation. I'll just unlock that for a moment. But yeah, after the action phase, you will go to combat phase. And uh, any hex here, if you have like uh, two opposing player ships there, or if you have a player ships and ancients, we have these ancients that are common enemies that arrive at some points. You might find them on hexes you explore. And uh, every uh, sector where there is combat, we go start resolving them from the highest hex number to the lowest hex number. Actually, we should populate these places with some enemies already. These are guardian sectors. They're they're slightly heavier, heavier enemies to start with. And this is the galactic center, which has also some specials. Those are advanced things we wouldn't use this game. So combat rounds, we uh, go as many combat rounds until uh, only one player is left in the hex. 
and each combat rounds uh, you can every ship type you first count the initiative and on the blueprints you can count the initiative by these triangle symbols here so the player who has the higher uh, the ship type who has the highest initiative will fire first and to fire you gather all the dice that your ship type would f would fire and then roll them to see if you hit and to begin begin with on the dice there is uh, one side is empty and on the one side is a hit marker and the other sides are numbered from 2 to 5 and the uh, empty side is always a miss and the hit icon is always a hit and those numbers will be actually uh, if you have computers so for example your cruises here and your dreadnoughts here start with electron computer that will give you plus one to hit so otherwise if you have computers then six is a hit so if you roll a five that would be upgraded to a six and that is also a hit and each hit deals one damage and your interceptors will take only one damage to be destroyed and you go with like rounds like this you can either fight or flee and if you flee a fight you will move your ships to the next sector but the other players will get to fire at you once more during their activation but i'll go through the uh, combat phase again when actually combat actually happens in the game that's the easiest way after the combat phase we'll move to the upkeep phase where you have one last chance to use your uh, your colony ships to colonize planets in the game and after this we'll have to pay upkeep and this is the most important thing where when you take a lot of actions so for example let's think that yellow player has conquered one area here and used three these three actions for example during the first round of the game so you will see here that you have uncovered number three so three is your upkeep cost that you will have to pay in money and at this point uh, we check uh, these are actually uh, the numbers here are the amounts you're producing each of these resources so you would be producing three money you would be spending three money so you wouldn't actually move your marker anywhere on the board but let's say if you had used one more then you would have spent five make three so you would have to move your marker two spaces mm -hmm. down and if for example we had a situation like this so you would have to pay four money in total and you only have three money you can always as you can see here on your board you can trade any you two of any resource to one of any other so in this case you would have to trade for example two materials to gain one more money and then you would be able to pay your upkeep cost and if you don't have any resources if you if you still can't uh, pay for example, let's see, we had like, <laughs> let's say we had played really bad and we were in a situation like this. Let's say this was a colonized sector here. So you would have to pay. Oh, this is too bad. Let's put it like this. You would have, so you would have to pay seven money. You have only six and you can't trade any re resources here. So then you would have to lose control of a sector. So you would have to lose, for example, this sector here and return this disc to the track. And you would basically you would go bankrupt. So you will uh, have to take as many discs back until you can pay, pay this. So here now okay, so we would have to pay only So five. now one more disc, so th then the upkeep is only five. Yeah, if you... Uh, yeah, but uh, you could already pay seven because you're making three more at this point. Three and ah so okay would, uh, so you would count the seven sort seven. of eight money yeah all right all right now I get it yeah yeah and you also produce materials which you can trade first yeah you can pay it of the other mater materials but if you don't have any materials but I mean you get you got those in the same step as you get the gold right so uh yeah actually you get the other two materials after you've paid this so you can for example ah, okay. use three uh, science you would get to trade ah, so after, okay. after you oh, pay oh, this that, that's actually, actually important yeah yeah okay so money money is always first money is always first and after this these two others so we can sort of use the money that we don't yet have to pay the upkeep but but we can't use the resources we don't yet no have. <laughs> no okay. you basically you count your upkeep by checking your production and your upkeep cost all right 
Yeah, but this was, yeah. Yeah, this was basically the upkeep. Do you have any okay. questions about it or? No, no, not about this. I will ask later. It okay, <laughs> that's great. So yeah. after uh, I've paid the uh, uh, cost here, um, then the the other resources will be produced too. Yeah, after uh, after this, they're actually. Uh, I don't think if you can you see on the right lower right side of the screen there is this quick game round info. At no. least at least for me there is. <laughs> But uh, no, you will basically have a separate upkeep phase and a separate income phase. Okay. And for clarification, yeah. this board over here is the same as this board over here? Uh, yeah, that's actually because in the physical game you have your discs here on your board and for some reason this mod has this same track separated here. Okay. I think practically because you can uh, better make the item snap here and start from here. For each player. That's also when you choose your color. So your, your player board yeah. is then not. Yeah, that's yes. Ah, okay. Point. So so these should actually be here. Yeah, yeah. these should actually be here. Ah. In the physical game, there are the discs are here, and you can just move them. So yeah. in physical game, game, we only have this board and this board. Yes, yeah. and this is a separate yeah. board with like cutaways for the cubes and everything. Yeah, with yeah. Uh, the dice trays in it. Or the, the, the vacuum molded trays. Yeah, there's a vacuum molded trays that actually hold all your player components in a single single yeah. box in the game. It was really nice in uh, in real. Yeah. yeah, they're actually amazing. I saw it on the Kickstarter. <laughs> Great. But yeah, after the uh, upkeep phase, we'll go to the uh, cleanup phase, which is the last last phase of the game, and where you basically you flip all your colony ships back, you reset your action card, you take all your discs from the actions you've used and put them back here on the track so that you have all your items. You don't take discs back from the sectors you control though, of course. Yeah, and so then it keeps more upkeep if you have more sectors. Yeah, basically if you run a large empire then you have to pay the cost in money. Mm -hmm. um, and then if you have destroyed cubes, they might get destroyed if other player fa attacks your sectors, then they would at this point they would be uh, these uh, round spaces in the middle of the tracks are called the graveyards. Then they would be uh, returned here. Hmm. And after Do this, they get destroyed if I lose control by when I don't have money to pay it? No, actually they don't get destroyed, but they will be returned to the tracks immediately. So in this case, you also have to be so uh, not to the graveyard, not to the graveyard, but straight straight to the track. And to the track where they are. So if I if I were to lose this kind of money planet where I have, for example, the money and and what is here? Uh, you have well, money, or, science, and so, materials. So, so money goes to money, and material goes to material, and yes. science to science. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. And that's a great point because that some sometimes when you lose a sector, you might put the money cube back here, and suddenly now you're making even less money and going even worse, flip bankrupt. So you have to. Probably you want to <laughs> lose a sector that doesn't produce money if you're going to bankrupt. Yeah. yeah, but after this actually we just uh, I'll just click the next round button for you and there will be new technologies available for the next round. But this is actually mm -hmm. the whole game round. You'll take eight rounds like this and then we count points. Mm -hmm. And to check here, here is actually uh, next to your board there is this uh, quick scoring marker. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can check here all the things that you get uh, get points for. So if you get points, you get reputation tiles for uh, fighting. Each fight you participate in, you will gain at least one reputation tile. And if you destroy something, you'll get even more. Wh where was it? Uh, it's next to your board here. Uh, wait. Uh, here. Ah, right. Yeah. Right. yeah. To the right. Yeah. So this will tell you everything. Uh, so sectors you control are some victory points. Monoliths you build, they will give you three victory points. And Discovery Tiles will give you two victory points if you decide not to use the bonuses for them. And this is actually one thing that I didn't go through with you yet, are the Ambassador Tiles. So there are these three tiles that you got to start the game with. And these are actually ways to make alliances with other players. You use them only in 4 plus games, so that's why I'm pretty excited to play uh, with 4 players. <laughs> Nice. So uh, when you actually have a wormhole connection to a sector that the other player is uh, holding 
at this point you can uh, like uh, do an ambassador deal with the other player where you would trade ambassador tokens with the other player so for example if uh, yellow here would make a deal with the white player you would trade ambassador tokens and I would put the yellow token here on this track and you would kill, give one of your tokens on this track so you would both be getting one victory point for this and also you'll get to choose one cube from any of your track to put on the marker actually you should put it here on the other player's oh. board so that they remember no, you have a marker. Yeah. yeah so you they remember what player they are allied with but this of, of course comes with uh, some deals so you're not allowed to end your move with your ship in a space that the other player has ships or control in so you can still move through other players sectors but you can't end your move because that's a hostile move and you would go into uh, combat but if you happen to break your alliance and attack the other player then you would be awarded with the traitor tile <laughs> that will give you minus two points and you will keep the traitor tile here in front of you but if another player after you does some traitorous actions then actually there is only one traitor tile in the game so the traitor tile would move to the other player mm. so there might be some strategy available there yeah, so we have short memory we only remember <laughs> the last traitor <laughs> yeah how, how how does the monolith work uh, the monolith three victory points but yes what is it uh, the monoliths and orbitals are actually technologies here here is the monolith technology and the orbital is here and if you take well, that oh, okay. take these techs you will be able to build the orbitals and monoliths basically when you build a monolith you put it on a sector you control and the monolith will stay on that sector even if you lose control of it and then now the hex will be worth three more victory points mm. And orbitals work basically the same as monoliths, so you put them on a sector you control. And orbitals act as planets, basically. So you can use a colony ship to put a cube either from the money or science track on the onto the orbital. Hmm. Each sector can only hold one orbital and one monolith, so you can build multiples yeah. of them. Uh, but yeah, I think that's probably all the rules we need to start playing oh for some reason and what's I the average it. amount of points you usually get uh the amount of points you usually get is somewhere like from 20 to 40 points in the game okay because then the minus two of the trader doesn't matter that much in that sense yeah it's not that much actually no no we like it's only 10 points and it's like really high but uh, if you get 20 or 40 points then it's uh, yeah not a big deal <laughs> <laughs> but yeah do you have a favorite method of selecting a start player i can also maybe we can throw the die yes let's throw a die okay and what color die uh let's say that's, that's tylarion that's you're one belzebeth you're two macbeth is three and sengso is four and if we get some other we'll re-roll yeah so it's four. four. So thanks. So you're the start player. Okay. Let's take this tile for you here. Yeah. Do I get the two? Uh, <laughs> two <resources already? laughs> no, 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 no. It's just like a first pass, first pass bonus. Okay. Yeah, and there is no um, difference in resources for the start player and later players. No. So everybody starts with the same. Yeah, everybody starts with the same. Yeah, because we also start like with our own sector, so it's not like. Uh, with worker placement that you have like disadvantage if you are later in the game. Yeah. So I can use one of my discs and I say I want to explore. Yes. So now I want to explore like uh, a number two sector yes. to the left of me. So I now you the would sector tile. That, and now you can flip it. Yeah, flip it and then see how it will align with yeah. how I can't even you can, uh, explore this though. Because I don't have a warp uh, there. Oh, you can't set actually there. You can put it here. You can explore yeah. this di to this, this direction. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. Okay. But yeah, don't you need to... Oh, no, you, okay. can, you can orient it, it in any way on... Yeah, but I mean, yeah. Yeah. You, you should say where you're going before you... Yeah, Yeah, you have to point to that place where you're going to explore. Yeah. 
And as you can see, this now here is only a half yeah. wormhole, so you can't actually. Yeah, you can move. Uh, you you there, could so. you could put it there, but uh, there is no use. Yeah. So I put it like I think I put it like this. Okay. So now so you can. I have, uh, yeah. Now you can yeah. take one of your discs from the board mm -hmm. and put it on the middle uh, middle of the hex to signify that you control it. Yeah. Great. And now, as you see, you have planets here, so you can flip two of your colony ships. Yeah, and then I can place one on the materials and one on the... Yeah, and one on the uh, money planet. Yeah, so I get more money. Yes, you'll get more more money and more materials. Yeah, nice. Good, yeah. Uh, good exploration. Is it Great. also possible to uh, colonize on the starting hex in this moment? No, these are advanced planets. So actually here on the research track we can see these advanced techs. So if you research a tech like this, it will allow you to colonize those kind of advanced planets. So advanced science, money or material planets. So they're pretty huge as uh, you can imagine when you get it, you'll up your up your production quite a bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Usually. So, so how much did it up the production? Uh, you can uh, colonize these all these planets, so it will you will get rid ah, of more cubes. Okay. So yeah, basically, yeah, yeah. you want to get rid of these cubes on the tracks on your board. Yeah, yeah of course, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah you want to, if you can so have more cubes have in one sector. Yeah, so basically yeah. we already have two that we can't actually colonize. Yeah, that's true for everybody. And it's you can only colonize like three per turn. Three per turn, yeah. But if you use the influence action, then you get to flip two of those back. So you could, with some more actions, you could colonize even more. But that's going to be costly. Yeah, and usually. we didn't cover this. But can you do an action twice? Can I explore yes. another time this round? Yeah, this round, when it's your turn again, you can um, explore again, of course. And then just put another disc in it. Because if, if, I, if I do it too much, then I can pay me a PP and I go bankrupt. Yeah, that's yes. the thing where you yeah. have that's to that's the plan. Yeah. Pay, pay attention to so that you don't overuse mm -hmm. your actions. Yeah. Yeah, now it would be. Silarian's turn. Actually, I didn't ask you, but what uh, what are the names that you'd wish to be called? Uh, you can also call me Ben. Okay. I'm Andre. I'm Kimmo. Oh, great. Someone asked for Prinlet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm Ka. Where are you from, actually, everybody? Netherlands. Germany. Great. As well. yeah, as, as Amazing. <laughs> Always fun to hear I'm where from everybody's Wampa, from. from so very, really near. <laughs> yeah, you're pretty close to me because I'm in Helsinki doing this. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Great. You're either in Tampere or Helsinki. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's move to the next player. Okay, I guess I'll uh, explore as well. Yeah, that's always the best choice to start with. And you'll have and to remember uh, that when you explore, if you see something that you definitely don't like, for example like a tile with uh, or no planets, if you don't wish for that, or like two heavy enemies to start with, you can always discard the tile that you draw. But if you do that, then you will also lose your action. So that's not okay. that good. And we, uh, have, we have only six places where we can put a sector one tile and only six places where we can put the sector 2 tile but the number of sector 3 tiles will be limited so you won't use you will see only 14 sector 3 tiles and after they've been used then you can't explore sector 3 areas anymore and is there a difference in uh, what you can get yes actually sector 1 tiles uh, they're more full of everything so there is more planets mm. and also more ancients more enemies Sector two, 2 mm -hmm. is pretty varied in what it contains and Sector 3 is practically pretty much more barren so there might be empty sectors without anything or okay. sectors mm -hmm. with just a few planets but there is also some ancients coming in sect Sector 3 also Okay, I guess I'll go with 2 Yeah, so yes, 2 is a safe option here. <laughs> Okay, that's an empty sector but you will get a discovery tile so that's pretty good this is actually something that was changed from the uh, first edition, because in first edition you had to influence the tile to gain the discovery tile. 
And here, even though if you don't want to use your influence disc to control this area, you will now get the discovery tile as a oh, bonus. Sure. So you can okay. flip it. You can actually flip it to see uh, what what you got. So that's actually great. You got eight money. Wow. I guess I'll take that. <laughs> yeah, you, should, you <laughs> definitely no, no. should take that. You could get two victory points. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's that's when lucky. First that's turn. great early game. That's great. So now you can just keep this tile in, uh, next to your player board here to signify that you've used it. Amazing. And doesn't now, you have to put a disc in the uh, area? Uh, you can put the disc here if you'd like. Uh, the only uh, okay. great thing... Can, he, can, can he still go through to this tile even though he's not using the disc here? No, actually, actually he can't explore there because the, he doesn't have control here. If he had a ship okay. here, he could explore there. So you can explore okay, either from control or ship. So if you're planning so to explore here, you should put the disc here. <laughs> it can be taken to all the places I can go to. So um, it is not so bad to put the disc there, I think. Because it no, be not at this moment, because if you go bankrupt, that would be the easy disc to get rid of. But it will be worth two victory points in the end game. But that's not something you should worry about in the first actions. <laughs> but can, how do I place it later? Uh, you can use the influence action. Okay. And that will allow to put, put the disc right. there later. Alright. So with influence, you can remove or place disc. Yes. Okay. Okay. On, I guess. Yeah. Okay. It's my turn. Mm -hmm. Then I will also explore, and I will also take it number two tile. See what it is. Um, it looks good. Mm. How can I rotate it? Um, no, it's Q and E. Ah, Q and E. I think I will leave it like that. Nice. Oh, but you can only use the one now. Uh, yeah, you can only use this this uh, square here. But this is great great position for it, because yeah. this will allow you to explore this direction mm -hmm. later. Yeah. Okay. So now I can put a cube there. I think I will. Take yes. Uh, you should always start with putting the uh, disc. Ah, okay. To the middle, and then you will use the colony ship. So I can, I will flip this okay. ship for you. And you use the ships to fly basically the cubes here. Ah, okay, thank you. That's so great. This was your, that's your yeah. explore action. So I'm I will explore. Is it my turn? Yeah, it's your turn. I I'll explore here. Great. So uh, there and flip. Okay, uh, here we some have friends. some <laughs> friends, friends for you. <laughs> now That's you still get to I orient it, wanted. orient it any way you uh, like, as long as the uh, wormholes connect. It looks great. And as you see, there is the discovery tile marker. So now we'll actually put the discovery tile there, and the ancient on top of it. And after <laughs> you've defeated the ancient, uh, then I you will gain the tile. To the ancient. Yes, you will need two hits to kill the Ancient, because they have one extra hit point. They will shoot you with two Ion Cannons. And they will have plus one to hit, so they will hit also on fives. Okay, so no, no, I'm not going there yet. No, you should probably upgrade your ships or build more ships until you go there. Yeah. How do you determine yeah. which Ancient to put there? Uh, we use only this one. We have an option for two different an advanced Ancients to use in the game. Mm -hmm. But we are using the standard ones because they are practically uh, the easiest to play against. Okay. No. Actually, in the physical game, you wouldn't use these tiles. You will have only one of each tile uh, to signify what the blueprints are for those. And there are actually miniatures for the ah, agents, okay. for the guardians and for the galactic center. But does, oh, it cool. uh, does it tell here what type of engine it is, this symbol? Does it give, yes. give it uh, in the physical game? That, okay, this is now... Yeah, actually uh, the tile here has the same symbol. 
Yeah. You can check it. And if, if we uh, see if here the Guardian, the Guardians, yeah. we have the Guardian sector here that will uh, tell you that it's a Guardian under the... But what, what uh, the level of Ancient? Uh, it's always the same. When we, when we begin the game, we uh, select what, what level of enemies we're going to ah, use for the whole game. Okay, okay. Oh, so I you will always know that all the uh, Ancients that you find are this type. Okay. All right. But great, that was one one whole explorer action. Still, even so though. So then you didn't. this ah, but this is yeah, this is guardian here. So yeah, this is guardian. Great. Actually, the guardians guardian. uh, are put on the table in the b beginning of the game to those places that are uninhabited by players. Just to give you some uh, goals to go for, because they're pretty much better sectors under them. But yeah, I think it's been it's your turn now. Yeah. So let's see. I think I tried to explore another uh, sector. Yes. Tell me where you're going and, to. Uh, and I want to explore uh, the one sector over here. See what's coming out of a one. <laughs> Great. Well. They're like high risk, high reward sectors usually. Yeah. So let's see. Whoa, that's nice. Still one ancient there. And here we actually see a gray, yeah. gray planet. So gray planets mm -hmm. are like the wild ones. So when you colonize it, you can take the cube out of any track. You want to come my way or? <laughs> <laughs> I put it down like this. Yes. Then we take one discovery tile yeah. and one ancient. Some tiles yeah. might also feature two ancients on them, but they're slightly more rare. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, it went. Great. It was yeah. disturbing me because and, and again the, the the gray one what was it? Oh, that's a wild uh, wild planet place. Oh, the wild wild planet. Yeah, so yeah. You can okay. choose what to put there. Yeah. Okay. So that was my turn. Great. Oh, exploring. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Usually the first actions you should go for are explore in the uh, beginning of the game and um, on the next round uh, research is also great to start with as the technologies are limited so you'll get to snatch something oh, from, yeah. from the other players mm -hmm. oh this is an ancient heavy heavy round so again we will yeah. get the discovery silent and ancient everybody has something to battle for <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so probably should upgrade next so <laughs> yeah i'm thinking like, yeah pretty hard to defeat with your basic ships yeah. <laughs> But yeah, that was your explore action. Yeah. So I would so. like to explore two. I will take a number one this time. Ah. Uh. Just put it on top of the last mm -hmm. tile. So you're going this way. Whoa! Oh, that's nice. Congratulations, that's a great style. <laughs> you can actually put it either way, because you can explore either from, mm. from this sector or from this sector, basically. There is no difference. Okay. Now you'll be getting a discovery tile. I think I will leave it like that. Yeah. So just flip the tile to see what you got. Mm. Oh yeah. That's wow. Nice. Wow, some resources for you. <laughs> <laughs> so you can straight away adjust your trackers to show that okay. you got those. So then I put Is it me then? No. Yeah. I will uh, I, the first I, he will get to uh, okay. influence yeah. and colonize. Sorry. Actually here we see this is not a standard gray planet because it has the star symbol yeah. here. So this is an advanced yeah. advanced planet. So you can put a cube here from any track for which you have the advanced technology okay. already mm -hmm. found. At the moment. At the moment you can't do unfortunately anything to mm -hmm. it. Okay. Great. Yeah. That's nice and quiet. Yeah, really good one. Uh, this way or no maybe I keep my options open to, but then I block that off. 
Uh, also, you'll have to remember that the uh, sector three doesn't end here when the markings end here. Ah, okay. Because you could explore sector three even somewhere here if you have the connections. Oh. Yeah, and if there are still sector three tiles, don't you? Definitely. In some games, I've seen like one player go with sector three doing like six tiles in a row from their home sector. <laughs> <laughs> Just like protective turtling. All right. Tactic. So now I can actually do something with my. Yes, you'll get to put the disc, disc and, and then money. Yes, and remember to flip my your colony ship. Money. Yep. So that great. Would be that was your action. Yes. I got to do something. <laughs> <laughs> Not just watch engines. Yeah. So I, w I want to try a research. I have three research, so I can either buy the gas shield or the nanobots. Yes, and nanobots are a technology that will allow you when you when you do your build action, you will get to build one more thing. So you would get to build okay. three things if you have materials for it. And mm -hmm. face shields basically uh, are a shield of minus one. So we, when you buy a face shield, you can upgrade these face shield. Oh, sorry, go gauze gauze shield. Yeah ship parts that will give you uh, your ship a minus one shield. So for example, uh, the ancient we have on board, they have computers of plus one, meaning mm -hmm. that uh, to begin with, they hit you on fives. But if you have go shields, it will make them much harder to hit you because they will need also the hit symbols. Yeah, but I also need the hit symbols to attack them. So yeah, basically, but yeah, you can, so you can always a... upgrade the computers. They are free parts. Yeah. No. But I think to attack like an ancient, uh, I don't want to have my interceptor. Maybe I need a cruiser to try and defeat them. Definitely, or you'll need more interceptors to go. <laughs> and yeah. of course, the interceptor, interceptor blueprint is so limited that you can't put the gauze shield mm -hmm. and the targeting computer in, on it. No. So maybe uh, should get something else, but but it's also limited what's coming out. So. Yes. But always remember uh, that you can, you can you can trade resources at any time. Okay. So I can even get like more. So I can buy a fusion drive that let me move then uh, to two tails. Yeah, practically you have four materials, so you could change those four materials into two more science. No. So when you would have five science at that point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so actually, that's only, and then only the fusion drives what I can buy. Yeah, but actually you all have this star-based technology already on the first track, so uh, the next pink oh, thing okay. you will buy, you will get yeah. a minus one discount. Oh, okay, so, so I can actually, buy if you six. if you use all your resources, you could even get the improved hull or orbital or plasma cannon. Or actually, sorry, only the mm. plasma cannon, because on, only on that row you will get the minus. Oh yeah, so I can one. buy the plasma cannon then, because then I get like uh, the... Um, that's so like you, deadly you roll dice. the, the orange dice and that have two hits. Yes, the orange die actually they don't have two hits, but each time no. they hit they will deal two damage. Ah, okay, so, so I you can will kill them. Yes, so you will kill kill yeah. ancients in one shot. So if I'm lucky, I can uh, kill them with my interceptor. Definitely, but also yeah. you'll have to see that uh, down here the plasma cannon ship parts. The plasma cannons yeah. will take oh, two, it, it, two energy. energy. Yeah. But still, your interceptors could handle it. Yeah. Because you're producing but then I have to upgrade the nuclear source with it. Um, no, if you you already are replace have a replace the ion. Oh yeah, cannon. yeah. If I replace the ion cannon with the, oh, okay. Well, yeah. Cool. You can Let's always try that. you can always build on top of anything. I think that's a great strategy. Yeah. Go for it. Yeah. Yeah. So I will research the plasma cannon. And yes. It costs me like all my uh, materials. It will cost you all your materials and all your science. So yeah, you would, but yeah. So you would actually first trade your four materials to two yeah, more science yeah. and then pay, but you can just put them to zero already. Yeah. So, like that. Yes, like that. Yeah. Okay, and then I did my uh, research, research. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Thank you. Great. Oh, I'll explore again. I'll go to the sector one. Oh, that's nice. You rarely get like this, uh, like these empty sectors in sector one. So, oh, that's a really great place. Yeah, and that's a great way to orient it because either way, it wouldn't make a connection here. 
And the okay, most, yeah. most important thing to find in the early game is that you find sectors with money planets, because only this way you will get to do more actions. Mm -hmm. But again, these two you can't yet, yet colonize. Remember to flip your one of your colony ships. <laughs> so is white uh, done? Yeah. Okay. Um, I have thought about doing some research, but I'm not sure if it will work out as I thought. Um, if I want to buy something that has research cost of 10, I now have research 5 due to this um, chip I found. Mm -hmm. I could trade materials uh, 2 to 1, yeah? Yeah. Or I could trade 2 science and put material here. Yes. And I, and I also can put it 3 up here and the money down here, is it right? So yeah, I that's for up to ten. Yeah, actually, that's still valid, because you okay. you will have in upkeep phase you will have to pay five, but you'll be making four. Yeah. So you'll have to pay one, so you'll just go to zero on money also. So but whoa, that's great! <laughs> How did you? Oh yeah, you got. Yeah, the he money. got the he got the. Uh, <sighs> whoa, that's that's amazing. So I <laughs> this down here. No, wait, wait a moment. You got science. How did you get so much science? He he traded everything he had everything. for the science. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, <laughs> money. even even I the have, money that you I usually have, don't I want to trade. Ridiculous. I have invested in research. That's Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now so you can you can use your last colony ships in the uh, beginning of the upkeep phase. So you will still yeah. get to use them before you gain your income. That's uh, what I've thought of. So amazing move. <laughs> 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 so yeah, that was your action. So yeah. me? Yes, Kimmo, it's your turn. Yeah, and I, I will back be back in again. A Let me see what I got. Oh, I got two engines. Whoa! Yeah, apparently. So that's, that's two ancient sectors. That will. Uh, now you will have to seriously think about if you're going to invest, you, you, invest you in military. You can't explore that sector. Yeah, actually you can't you explore it. that direction. So you don't have connections there. Ah. So okay. if you're exploring a sector 3, you would have to put it in either okay. of these places. Yeah, so this one. Yeah. 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 Or this one even. Yeah. But now yeah. I think you should think of... Uh, you can't explore there because you don't have control of this sector. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so it's only the the, the bottom yeah. two, yeah. Okay. Because that's a that's yeah. a very tough fight to go for. So But yeah, that's some goal for you at least. <laughs> so now you should start investing in your military powers. So we'll put a discovery tile there. And now we'll add two of these ancients on top of it. Nice. Nice, that's great. So I'm in a bit of a pickle. I don't have resources and <laughs> I have a lot of friends that don't like me. <laughs> yeah, now you should definitely try to build build an army on the next round or even go for some nice new technologies. I yes. try to also explore one more uh, sector and sector three tile. Okay. And I want to explore uh, this one over here. Yeah. Because I think he got, got the bad sector three, so I'll get better one now. There is always yeah. some gamble in this. Yeah. So let's see. Like here. Yeah. Well, it's nice and easy. It's pretty yeah, nice. I, 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 I would like to have something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting all the ag agents. So yeah, I yeah. can put one of my remember, uh, on here. You should also remember that when you go into fight, you will get these reputation tiles that will give you points. Yeah, and yeah, the reputation uh, the reputation tiles will come in a uh, point values of 1 to 4, where number 4s are much more rare than the other ones. And when you go into fight, depending on how much you've destroyed things, you will get to draw a certain amount of these discovery tiles and you get to pick one. 
So usually if you fight a lot in the early game, you will uh, be picking out the best tiles before other players even have chance to look at them. Mm, okay. So that's <coughs> also one great strategy to go, to go for. But yes, that seems to be your full explore actions. No. In SI, you advance from four to six and even higher later. So the increments are getting bigger. Yes, it's not like yeah, you will okay. not only get one. So actually, if you check yeah. closely next to your board there, there is these smaller numbers next to each mm -hmm. each of these tiles. And the smaller number will tell you what number will be revealed under that yeah. cube. cube. Yeah. So by gaining this uh, new planet, I get two more actions in, in effect. Uh, basically. Because I get two more money, yeah. Yeah, because you have to check that also the actions will ramp up. So now mm -hmm. you're yeah, paying okay, seven, and true, if yeah, you yeah, take I'm one more action, you would be paying ten. Yeah, and I get yeah, and I'm at nine, so I can't do any actions after this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah basically. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, ambassadors, uh, Yellow and I are next to each other. Could we exchange one now? Uh, actually, yeah, you could do an ambassador deal. You can do ambassador deals at any time. So, uh, Yellow, do you want to do an ambassador deal? <laughs> yeah, for me it's fine. Okay, so now both of you take one of your... Oh, there's mine. Oh, actually, there is one of theirs. I forgot that there. So now yeah. you get to take any of your cubes and put it on the tile here. And actually here on your board you have these five spaces. So mm -hmm. as you can see the top one can only hold an ambassador tile. But the uh, lower ones can also hold an ambassador tile or a reputation tile you get from uh, combat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's great. Now just remember that when moving ships you can't end your move in a sector of the other player. Because that would be attacking. Yeah, I get it. And you would get the traitor oh. card. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to do the same. I'm going to do a research selling all my stuff. <laughs> so I have four materials. So I get two more science and ten money for five more science. <laughs> yeah, you get also the huge, huge money bonus to start with. Get advanced labs. Ah, he's okay, you're investing in the research department. <laughs> and you can use your colony ships uh, in the upkeep phase. So not yet, but then. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, yellow already used it. Uh, no, he didn't use the colony ships yet. Yeah, I have a question. If I do explore right now, yeah, um, can I also colonize uh, the um, advanced money planets uh, that are on my tiles where I have control? Uh, when exploring, you can only colonize the planets that you find on the tile. Okay. But you will you will still uh, get to colonize the planets before you will have to pay the upkeep. Okay. As long as as long as you have those ships left at that point. Mhm. Mm so then I want to explore once more. Okay. At this time of three, number three time. Where you're going to here or here? I think uh, over here. Oh, no planets. Okay, no planets, but the discovery tile. Yeah. So you will get the tile here. Yeah. What's that? So that's actually a ship part. That's an ancient, ancient ship part. I found. <laughs> yes. So uh, that's a jump drive. That's a very special engine for your ship. So you can. Cool. You can either put it on a ship right now, or you can put it on the side to use as an upgrade for later. Okay. And jump drive is actually a different sort of like a drive to use. Mm -hmm. So when you move your ship with a jump drive, you can move your ship to any adjacent sector. Without a wormhole. Without a wormhole. So if you would start here, mm. you could move on any oh. of these, but only one hex at a time. Mm -hmm. So that's okay. actually a very, very rare part. But it will take two energy to operate. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. And, um, you can either put it for free or now or later use an action to put it on any... You can put it on uh, any of the blueprints even though you don't have the ships yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I do not know. Um, yeah, I think I will use it for the middle class. Yeah, uh, just put it over the drive you have already. Ah. So that was my turn. Ah, no, I have to place the disc there if I want to, but I have to check the cost. Oh no, I will not. Put the disc on the galaxy. Yeah, now you probably shouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there is no practical use for it at mm. this point. And I would go bankrupt. Very much. My turn? Yes, it's your yeah. turn now. So I'll I'll uh, get more friends probably. <laughs> <laughs> Let's yes. hope not. Yep. <laughs> what? Wow. That's So uh, I'm not getting anywhere in this game. Yeah, all. you're not getting anywhere. You you should start thinking about discarding the tiles and trying to draw better ones at some point because if you don't get anything you'll pretty much have a slightly tougher time in the game. So discard it just and then uh Hope for what a better does next the discard time. mean that uh, I can't do anything this turn? Yeah, that's the bad, bad part. That's the uh, luck part in this game that you you'll get you lose basically your this action. Okay, but I just don't. Okay, so I'll yeah. just discard this. You'll just discard it, but now you still have the uh, area available to explore later. And I'll definitely ah, okay. hope hope you don't get that that many ancients next turn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well. So yeah, some very bad luck. I'm sorry for you. <laughs> so I want to uh, pass. You wish so to I pass. So you will get, get the two, uh, two money income. immediately. Yes. Yeah. And I'm, then I I'm can still use disc to do upgrade building or movement or. Yes. But you can but do those disc. Those I have must pay. Pay from here still. Yeah. So I want to do they're, that. They're basically uh, to react to what the other players might do. Yeah. Okay. So I'm done? Yeah, you're done. Okay, that's annoying. I wanted to pass, but... <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> that, uh, that always happens when you wish to pass the next player to you, passes before you. <laughs> that's, a, that's a part of the gamble, I think. Yeah. Right, gamble yeah. then. I'll take one more action. Mm. But can you pay everything? Because you don't... Uh... Yeah, I can pay more on my disc. Oh, okay. So the influence action I lost uh, to disk. Oh, that's how you place disk on empty uh, spaces. Yes. Still over there is floating, by you the way. What? OK, now it's down. Thank you. OK. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm annoyed by the fact that these some of these are sitting on top of each other. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's pretty weird. Though. It's not clicking to its place. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for us OCD people, o it's not nice. Yeah, yeah, I, I was just about to say my OCD is killing me. This yeah. is actually <laughs> floating also. <laughs> the one here. Yeah, <laughs> I have to do a nice uh, <laughs> job on my part. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, it's still on there. Well, ah, whatever. Oh. I'll, I'll try to live with it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay. Some difficulties of the digital realm. You can always look over here. Those are nice. <laughs> yeah, our our side here is really. Yeah. Good. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll upgrade. Okay. Okay. So, so what will do you... I? If if the others pass, can I still keep going, or do I need to pass as well? No, you can keep going as long as you wish. Yeah, because I I haven't used any money because I haven't found anything or un any of the discs because I haven't found anything but the ancients. Yeah, yeah. So far. If all the other uh, players have passed, you will actually uh, do your actions and then we'll just ask everybody if anybody wa wishes to do a reaction and then it's you, your turn again. You are supposed yeah. you are supposed yeah. to put disc on the exploration every time you explore. Yeah, you didn't do that. What? Yeah, you yeah, yeah. Every like time you use. Here. 
So actually when ah. you've explored, you've explored three times, so you would actually have... Oh, okay, okay. Have it look yeah. like this. Sorry. Yeah. I explored a fourth time because I discarded one. Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. So you would actually look All like right, so. this. So it's not unlimited that I can do. Yeah. No. no, definitely. Everything has its price. Yeah, yeah so you upgraded. Let's see. You it's like real life. Put a hull ah. here and iron cannon here. Yeah, that lo looks great. Uh, yellow, do you pass already? I am passing. Okay, great. So it's then greenstone, Kimo. So then I can basically you, you can flip that card. Only one more because I have four and three. Yeah, if you do one more action, then you will be paying seven. So you can still pay for it. Now let's all for hope for something great. Let's, yeah. <laughs> let's try this again. I mean, it cannot be two in a row. Uh, uh, at least it's not it's two bad, ancients. Bad. <laughs> yeah, it's still one, but yeah. But that's a great sector to go for. Because you have like the Grey Planet and yeah. pretty nice connections. Should I do this or...? Mm, you already have <laughs> access to this sector, so you don't have to so orient it that way. So I think that way gives most most possibilities. Yeah. But I'm screwed anyway. <laughs> You'll need some a few ships. But I think with a, with a few... One research, one upgrade and probably one build action you'll be going strong against the Ancients. Because the standard Ancients are not that hard if you just upgrade your ships a slight bit from the standard model. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, but all the can... we don't have any cannons here. Plasma cannons. Uh, you can use the iron, iron cannon parts, but plasma cannons are not available at this moment, but they might come avail available next round. That's a pretty... Uh, pretty uh, a numerous textile. Yeah, I'll pass. Okay. And you'll pass also. Yeah, no reaction from my side. Yeah, so it's great. Give more again. Let me th think. If I buy something or do something, I need to use one of my discs when, and I'll be going to. Yeah, I think you change. should. You should pass too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm passing also. Oh. <laughs> 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 but, uh, okay. Now okay. we're floating. Do you have to change color again for the script? Sorry. Do you have to change the color again for the script? I'm not sure if it does anything. Based what? on players. Yeah, for I'll, the end have of the round. <coughs> I'll have to change it for the end of the round because it populates this uh, track with a certain amount of new technologies per player amount. Okay. But yeah, after uh, before before that, we'll uh, go to the upkeep phase. So to start mm -hmm. with, you can use your remaining colony ships to p populate the planets that you still have on your systems. So that's at uh, least something you like so to do with the advanced advanced technologies. Simultaneously? Or yeah, it happens all at the same time. Everybody can do, do that. So I'm going to zero money. Yeah. And then I can up put my. So it's three science, six, and three more. And three more materials too. Seven, yeah. Seven. That wasn't a good round. Yeah, that was a rough, rough start. But usually, uh, when you get a lot of ancients to begin with, you'll be uh, going pretty military heavy after that. And most of the times, you'll be getting a lot of points and a lot of discovery tiles that will start to fuel your uh, shipbuilding. Most of most of the times, you'll get something really great out of it. 
Yeah. But I really would love to have some money planet. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty rough because you only got one, but... Yeah, then you can all pay your pay your upkeep costs mm -hmm. and gain your incomes. Okay. Uh, gain all incomes after paying, um, or yes, after you pay your upkeep, then you will gain uh, science and materials, as shown on the tracks. Great. Now I'll actually change my color again to black for a moment. Take. Uh, are we taking the disc back? Yes. Now you will take. Uh, we are going actually to clean up phase where you be uh, now flipping back your colony ships to the unused sites and taking all the discs back from your actions. Mm -hmm. And now I'll click us to the next round. Oh. So it will actually automatically flip you on. But I need to put these disks manually back. Yes, yes <laughs> for, some, for some reason that's not automatic. This yeah. mod is actually actually made by some fan of the game. So this okay. is not like, an, uh, not like an official mod by oh. us. Oh. That's, that that's how, why... It how come I that's why it actually uses some of these like first edition parts that were not available okay. yet as 3D models. Yeah, I was models. thinking that I, uh, the Kickstarter version ships are different now in the... Yes, actually the second edition has like these alien ships for all the races that correspond to the alien species that are usually on the other side of the player boards. And mm. there is but a separate like... Also, yes, separate yeah. ships for all... Yes, there, was a separate, there is a separate human human ship back available. Cool. But oh, yeah, as you can see now we have some more more technologies available again. Sadly no plasma cannons. Mm -hmm. But for example right. improved hull is a great great thing to have and some computers they're amazing. And the orbitals. What's the orbitals? Where? Ah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can build and then have like another resource building thing. Yeah, that thing would actually you. probably be a good wise decision for me because I can't seem to find any. <laughs> any if you if you can't find it, you have to build your own. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we will start with Ben. Was it here on the blue? Yeah. 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 So I'm gonna check what I will do. Thinking what does about this cloaking device do. A cloaking device actually uh, relates to how you move your ships. Because when you move a ship to a sector where there is another player ship or an ancient, you will get yeah. pinned. So each ship will pin down one ship. So for example, uh, if uh, you were to move two ships onto a sector that has one ship, you will have to leave one of your ships to that sector to match that, si that ship. And then you would get to move the other ship away, but the other ship is stuck there. And if you buy the cloaking device, then all your ship gets, ships get this ability immediately, where the other player will need two ships to pin down one of yours. So that's pretty more advanced things that you might wish to look for in the late game. Uh, okay. uh, is uh, it the same thing with an allied player? Uh, no, allied players don't pin each other's ships. Okay. And some of the other techs we have av available here, we have, for example, advanced robotics. If you buy this, you will get one more discovery, uh, one more influence disc, actually, to use for actions. And the same, oh. this one here, and the same goes for the quantum grid over here. You will get two discs if you research this one. Oh, if you okay. research, can you only research one tile? Yeah, with each research action, you will only get one one tile. All right, all right. Okay. I will research the improved hull. Great. So I sold like all my uh, materials and two gold to gain. Uh, yeah, I needed that one. <laughs> 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 Whoa, that's. Okay, so I, 
I'm not killing the ancients then. All right. <laughs> but I thought you, I thought you needed the yeah, orbital no, no, tech, no. so I thought I'd go for the hull. <laughs> <laughs> no, I. Well, yeah. So uh, these black tiles do they get replaced at the end of round? Sorry, are they still the same as last round? Are they the same? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they come out randomly from the technology bag. Okay, but next round they're still the same. Yeah, they are still available. All the tiles will stay available okay. if they're not bought, but there might there only comes more tiles available. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is there a possibility to get the hull again? Yes. Or was it? Okay. Yes, all, all right. these tiles will uh, will come available again. And uh, the uh, lower lower tiles are more numerous than the higher tiles. So I these think are. I'm going with orbital. Great, so you will sight. actually, yeah, you will get one discount for it. Okay, next. Oh, yeah. Disc. Yeah, there's always some hard choices when you do your actions. That should you go for research or explore or anything? Because mm -hmm. mostly, uh, mostly those are the <coughs> two actions that are most contested with other players. Definitely uh, the research action. Mostly, yeah. when you when you pass first, you will go get to be the first one to pick from the technologies that come available. <laughs> um, whose turn is it? Uh, yes, with yellow. Ah, oh, okay. Um, if I want to upgrade, it does not cost anything but uh, to do the action, or no? You will just have to uh, place the uh, place the disc on the action, of course. Mm. But there is but no material or research cost to the tiles. But to get these, you have to have the technology. Yes. Ah, okay. You can only get these ones uh, in the beginning. Yeah. Okay, that that's good to know. I, I have missed that. We like uh, the so the technology is uh, then found somewhere here. Yeah, so it's plasma cannon is this, and then you can build this. Ah, for the okay. for this one, you can get to build this one. Yes, there is matching technologies for every available ship part coming here. And if you don't see the technology for the ship part you're looking for here, then it means that it's a rare technology that might come available or might not. Okay. Yeah, then I uh, want to explain. Lore again. And take a number three tile. Okay. Nice. I'll build it here. Yeah. And I also want to gain influence there and put my great system and remember to flip your colony ships ah yeah thank you <laughs> so i'm done me mm -hmm. yeah yes okay. i'll um, so first of all, I need to use the disk for, uh, wait a moment, it's, um... Research, yes. Research, yeah, and I'll buy the orbital... Yeah. Orbital stuff. That is my board, here. Your board is over Oh, here. sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gifting it to you. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, th practice. thanks by the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm already behind and I'm gifting all the <laughs> discoveries to my friends and neighbors. All right, so um yeah. That's probably what I can do. Yeah, that's yeah. great. I'll go and upgrade and then get myself a plasma can and then a help upgrade. Yeah. And I put them uh, both on my 
interceptor. Yeah, that works. Done. Yes. Okay. I'll get an explorer. Um, I'll explore the tree sector. And of course, I place a disc there. You are getting all the good ones. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. It's like life, it's not fair. Yeah. Okay, yeah, uh, that's it. Yeah. Uh, I'm still thinking about doing some research, but. What do neutron bombs do? Uh, neutron bombs actually a function when you go to battle with another player over a sector. Because ah, okay. when you uh, when you fight for the sector after you've destroyed all the other player ships, you will still have to destroy the planets there. So you will after mm -hmm. that you will get one round where you get to attack with all of your ships and each damage will destroy one population cube from the sector. So you might not be able to destroy all the population straight away. But if you have neutron bombs, you will just bomb the planets away and they will be destroyed automatically. So you don't have to even fire at them. So that's a very, like very cheap and aggressive tech to go for. Yeah, like a master of wine. <laughs> yeah. But that doesn't help me against the ancients. No, right? that doesn't do anything about against the ancients. That's only against pop population cubes of other players. And the fusion drive? Uh, fusion drive is, is just a better better engine. Ah, okay. So when you when you would move your ships, you would get with two hexes of movement with one activation. Yeah. Okay. My interceptor does it now has three hit points because one form itself and three form a hole of two form a hole. Yes. Okay. And the that's why the ancient of the ancient has like two hit points. Yeah, because the hulls from are the ship and one from the hill. Yeah. Yes, the hulls are extra hit points that you can put. Yeah. Okay. Ships. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's clear. So I will build some nanobots and have to pay two. Yeah. And here actually one thing you should uh, see also on the uh, technology tracks here is that when you have enough of technology on one track you will start gaining victory points for it. Mm -hmm. So after the fourth technology on the same track you will be actually making one victory point out of that track. Mm -hmm. And the victory point amount is always the next uh, next space visible. So if you fill your whole yeah. row you will get five victory points for that row. Oh, nice. So you will get you will be able to get 15 victory points with just researching. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the um, nanorobots give me one uh, material. Uh, one one more build action. So when you do your ah. build, you will get to build three things. Ah, okay. Oh, that's nice too. Yeah. Okay, so I'm done. Yes. So for Kimbo. I will try my luck again with the angel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's hope for something else. Yeah, you, can, you can't. That's uh, great. Explore over there. Oh yeah, you can't what? explore to that direction. You can explore here. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. True. But still, exploration. <laughs> so he gets an exploration token and like. Yes, a you will planet. get the discovery tile here. Yeah. I put so here for I you. Probably one at this point some money because I don't have that. Yeah, yeah check your tile first. Oh. Uh, F, F to flip it. Ooh. So that ac that's actually a weapon that will give you a lot of initiative. And that doesn't use any energy. You can put it on any of your ships. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, practically uh, the ancients you're fighting, they have an initiative of two. 
And your yeah, interceptors, nice first. yeah, your interceptors have initiative of three to begin with. Yeah. And your cruisers have two to begin with. And so if you so go on fight with an ancient with a cruiser, you would actually the ancient would fire first because it's a defender. But that so part I, will give you. Yeah, and actually you wouldn't even have to put it there. You could put it to the empty spot so that you you can have you can put any tile on any spot. Okay. As long as you have at least some sort of uh, power source and one engine. Mm -hmm. And th this is now using two power. Yeah. Yes, because the iron disruptor if, actually doesn't. If I doesn't... put it here, it would be only using one. So this is actually better. Now I get to shoot it. Yeah, so you I will get two actually, dice. I should actually make cruisers then. Yeah, now yeah. your cruisers are pretty great. Great to start with. Yeah, they have initiative yeah. of five now. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, and now I uh, also put one of your discs on the sector. Yes. You always. Do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I will. Time. I will flip one colony ship for you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Great. Your luck seems to be turning. Uh, <laughs> let's, let's let's let's, <laughs> let's not go there yet. <laughs> <laughs> so it's my turn. Yeah. So for the purpose of learning, let's move and attack uh, an ancient. So we'll see uh, how how uh, I die. <laughs> <laughs> you have yeah. you have really yeah. tough interceptors, so yeah. anything can happen. But yeah, that's your yeah. whole action. You could have moved three ships if you had more ships, but this yeah. is now the whole action. Yeah. So let's see what happens. So I can attack with my plasma die. Yeah, uh, combat phase happens only after the action phase. Uh, so okay. your ship so will ship will stay there. Later. Yeah, until yeah. everybody has taken all their actions. Oh, uh, yes, of course, yes. Yeah. So I move there, show that's my intentions, and, uh, <laughs> and okay. that's your action. <laughs> Great. So you can move a disc and uh, get the uh, plans until next turn when it has an uh, agent. Uh, sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Now, well, he, he, the combat doesn't happen until the end of the round. Yes, because right? we uh, first go to the action phase, then to combat phase, before the upkeep phase. So, um, so he can't get these planets this turn. He can get them next turn. Uh, after combat, if you get, if you clear the sector out, you will get to influence it, and you will get to use the remaining colony ships at the beginning oh, of the okay. upkeep phase, in the same way as when you get got the uh, technologies. Okay, okay nice. So next, yes, next player. Yeah, I'm thinking if I can either build another interceptor and attack with two interceptors and hope I win. Because uh, if I don't, I will go bankrupt. <laughs> <laughs> or I'll uh, pass right now. I and you get so. two money. Two money. Hmm? Yeah, if you pass, you get two money. Yeah, so I guess I'm going to pass now. Okay, I'll give you the pass of the first player. Oh. Yes. Here you are. And you will immediately get the two money. So I want to do some more research. And I think I will get the Gaussian Gauss shield. Tickets. Yeah. And you will still now have to pay two for it, even though you get the one discount, because the minimum cost is two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah. So that was my turn. Yes. So it's green. Green player again, Kimo. Yeah, I'm. I was planning on building the orbital, but <laughs> that tile sort of changed some of yeah. my thinking. Yeah, now you so can, now could I'm have a chance with a cruiser. Yeah, so I'm. I'm actually going for it. So I'm. I'm. I'm going for a build action, and I get to build two. Two but things. I only yeah. have money for one because it's five, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
so I will be left with two and I don't have anything that I can build with two but I will get one of these and you can put it anywhere where you have yeah. control <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's sitting there yeah and that's it and that's your action yeah I think I can still do one explore action. Yes, okay. seems like it's... Yeah, I have eight and now I have to pay seven, so... Yes. And I will explore uh, a sector two. Okay, you can do it here. So the one over there, yeah. Yeah. And it is oh, a nice science uh, location. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if I will put stuff over here, let's see. And I have to use another disk and then I go bankrupt. So, yeah, can I choose you... to not, uh, yeah, to not populate it? Yes, you can choose that. And you can later populate it with an influence action. Yeah, okay, so I'll do that because otherwise I'll go bankrupt. So, that's. <laughs> It's my turn. Okay. Yeah, looks Is great. Is there a re reaction from White? Um. Oh, uh, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> okay. So then. I'm Usually you shouldn't do reactions because they're just worse Sorry. versions, but sometimes they're a good strategy if you know, like, you're going to move one ship on your next turn, then you could just pass mm -hmm. and then know that you so. can get to still move that as a reaction. Okay. So one one question about my cruiser. Yeah. So um, does this mean that I hit with uh, five? Yes. Oh, okay. That's so I have two already. dice and I I. Are you will hit with fives? And the, and the engines is actually the same. The same. Yeah, practically. Okay. But, but I go first. But you're faster. Okay. And yeah. you can you can bring your interceptor also to the fight. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Which yes. one it will shoot first? my interceptor or my cruiser? Yeah, great question. Actually, the ancients will allocate their damage in uh, like the order. If if they can destroy something, they will. So okay, if he, so would, if he would do only one damage... Yeah, if he would do only one damage, he will destroy the uh, interceptor. But if he would create two damage, then he would destroy the cruiser. All right, then, then yeah. Then I know what I'm doing. So there is great. some risk to the fight. But he can't use the interceptor, right? Unless he moves twice. Uh, with one move action you can... Uh, one yeah, move action one you can... And this goes one, two. Yeah, you can do three I activations. Three. So the cruiser yeah. would move oh, once okay. and the interceptor would move twice. Okay. Yeah. Let's continue so with the yellow player. Yeah, I've uh, made my move already. So I've uh, chosen upgrade and uh, two gold shields. One for the cruiser and one for the interceptor. Yeah. By the way, is there anything I could upgrade for my interceptor? Yes, you could upgrade a computer for it One. to ease the hitting for it, or you could put a hull marker to increase its uh, hit points. Or give it a second die. Or give it so one more one more weapon. So I would be attacking first and rolling four dies. Yeah, practically. But you would actually attack with your cruiser first, because they will hit on fives. And then you would attack with your interceptor, because they would hit only on the hit markers. Oh, okay, yeah. But still, you will get four dice per per round. Hmm. That could actually be... So, cruisers attack first? Uh, you go in the so order of in initiative and ask the cruiser... Oh, right, cruiser. Uh, right. Yeah, yes, this cruiser sir. now has so huge initiative. So, how many Marker. markers can I take? You'll get to take two tiles. And you can actually uh, choose any of these five, and you can upgrade any of your ship types. So you could even upgrade your uh, dreadnoughts that you don't yet have. It's my board I'm, again. I'm, yeah, sorry. <laughs> 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 when I'm coming from the board, it's just the closest one. Yeah, you're so I far away here. <laughs> yeah, maybe more firepower. So it, it's acting before the ancients, right? Yeah, it's still acting before the ancient. Yeah. You still get to have so one... But if this if this would have one hull, then the engine would hit this first, right? No. It's 
Uh, actually, actually, the engine, if, if it can destroy something, yeah. like if you have a cruiser and an interceptor and it will uh, deal do two damage, then they would go from largest ship to the smallest ship. Yeah, so that's what I mean, that if, if I had hull here... Yeah, then it actually would then destroy would first the cruiser first. It. Yeah, yeah so I don't want that to happen, so I'll, I'll just use the damage. Oh, come on. Yeah. Go there. And then I can... But would there's nothing better for this ship there. No, practically no. You can uh, no. still you can still put a hull or a computer on your dreadnought. Because those are also free and you can build over them at any moment. So I recommend doing that. Okay, so... Who... Did it already have a computer? Yes, it has so one it computer. Would, but if you have two computers, it would hit with four. Oh, that would be nice to have. I like I like computers. Yeah, where are my ships? There. Okay, so now it's hitting more accurately. All right. Fine. Yeah. That's that's my upgrade. Then it's blue or yeah, yeah I pass. Okay. I get passed. Yeah, you're passed already, so yellow. I'm passing. You're passing too. So now I have to move. I can still pay it if, even if I lose. Yes. So I'm doing it. I'm. I'm. Yeah, let's go all in. <laughs> <laughs> so if, if this fails, then I can just say bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> Flip the table. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, let's not try that one. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I in, in, which, in which order will the battle uh, occur? Because uh, Talarian is now the these. first player. Yes, you ah. will st you will start with the highest hex number. So you see next to ah, the okay. na name of the hex there is some number. So actually this fight will happen Three first here. Oh, yeah. right. So, so I think no. you're passing now. Nobody yeah, does any reactions I'm and you'll be passing next. Yeah. Yeah, I'll pass. Yes. Out. So then we I can start would. start with this fight. So first we declare so declare the initiative order, yeah. So my the uh, this one is going first. Yes, so your cruiser I will be going first. So rolling two dice. You did one damage to the ancient. So these right. cubes are used to represent damage on units. And now your interceptor will shoot. Yeah, hitting with only the hit symbols. Oof. Unfortunately, no hits. And now some other player will get to roll the dice for the ancient. But you can use the same dice, or yeah, no, you can. This one. No, no, no. You have to. You have your own. <laughs> mm. And no hits from so. the ancient. And nice. now that was okay, one so one whole combat round. And now we'll go to the next round, and we'll do the same I'm thing not again. Retreating. <laughs> yeah. So the big cruiser is hitting on fives. Yay! Yes, you destroyed him. <laughs> All right. Amazing. So what? Do I get now? <laughs> oh, oh, there was the two ancients. One. There was two ancients. Oh, okay. Well, I'm still alive, so I guess we are continuing this. Yeah. But shouldn't the other ancient also? Yeah, fight the other back? other ancients should also fight back, actually. But 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 I I ah oh yeah yeah, yeah. on the last <laughs> round. Okay. Yeah, sorry, I totally forgot that there was two ancients on that uh, tile. I... Okay, so did I. So I will roll for the second ancient. Yes, shoot the ancient again. Uh, but yeah, no hit, so it's the same. But, so now it's your now it's your interceptor's time to shoot. Yeah. Actually, yeah. nice. Yeah. You're doing more damage. Now, now the last ancient will shoot. So it deals one hit. So it actually destroys your interceptor. Yeah. Okay. And now I get to roll with. Yes, the with the cruiser, cruiser. you'll shoot now. Hey! Yes, so you destroyed even that one. <laughs> oh, that's that's some <laughs> combat merits there. <laughs> so now, now because <laughs> maybe <that was> <laughs> would have, <laughs> if, if I remember, <laughs> there were two of them. I wouldn't go there, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. So not knowing is <laughs> amazing. But now, as yeah. as a reward for your fighting, you will get three reputation tiles, and you should peek at them. How do I peek? Uh, you hold Alt. Uh, you shift. Shift. Uh, Alt, shift. Alt, Alt Shift. You will get to peek them. We will all see when you peek at them. That, that's how you don't get to peek other players' stuff. And mm. you will get to choose one of them. 
One only. Yes, so put the highest one here <laughs> on your board. Okay, so I'll take this one. Yeah, put it here next to your board. I'll t take these two back for you. And you can now flip it. Now I can get maybe something. Whoa! That's actually a very unique weapon to have. It's a, it's a rift, rift conductor. So that's also a yeah. ship part you can put anywhere here. So that one, special die. Yeah, that one doesn't need any energy also to operate. Uh, it needs one, Chess. No, actually that's a hull point. So you will also get one hit point for oh, this weapon. Oh, a hull point. Wow. So that's really great. And rift cannons are very special in a way that they actually... Uh, they don't require you to hit the enemy. They will hit automatically. What? Yes, and you will use these special pink dice that uh, they will have very different sides on them. So actually the rift cannons will have sides that will hit you on... Uh, they will tell you straight away how much you hit. But they can also damage yourself. So you have two empty sides. You have this sign that will deal one damage. The next side will deal two damage. Then there is I one like side, more. this side, that will deal one damage to yourself. And then there is a side that deals three damage to the enemy and one damage to yourself. This one. So this is one for me, or...? Yes, that's one for you. Nothing, one for me, three and one. A blank is still a miss, right? Blank is still a miss, yeah. yeah. So... But if I look at the Rift Conductor, you see one hull, a pink die, and then one energy. Uh, yeah, it takes one energy, sorry, yeah. Yeah, okay. Now looking at it. And you can now put it immediately on your ship or save it later for an upgrade. But I think those are great. I always enjoy it when I get the Rift Cannons, because they bring some yeah. randomness to the game, but they might be super powerful. Because also, if, <laughs> you have, if you have only Rift Weapon on your ship, you won't need any computer, so you can up the hull counts or anything on those ships. So no. Why? Because you don't need computers to hit with Rift Cannons. You miss or you hit, and it is not like <laughs> you have to have like a higher number. Ah, ah but, but the computer is still valid for these. Yeah, yeah. for those it's still valid. So yeah. something, something I like to do sometimes if I get that kind of weapon, I'll put it on an interceptor. Because an interceptor ah, cool. won't, won't need any computers, and then I'll use the last spot to up the hull count. So even if you deal damage to yourself, you will still survive it. Yeah. So I think those are the uh, one of the best ships you can get in the game. So here. Yeah, it would be yeah. wonderful for my ship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for example, you if you if for example if you put it there and on a later turn you might want to up upgrade another hull for the interceptor and you have a really deadly ship. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> I could I could. Yeah, I could replace this with the hull. Yes, you can always put tiles on top of anything. All right. Yeah, but now as you have this sector, you can put the uh, influence disc there. Yes, finally. Oh, but can I? I don't have the money to pay it. Uh, you will be getting some more money, but yeah, you'll... Yeah, yeah. Getting two more money, so I guess that should be... Or do you have to pay three more? <laughs> yeah, I think you're, <laughs> you're a bit screwed. You'll, you'll have to get rid of some sector. I think you'll probably be getting rid of this sector. But then you also get rid of... Yes. money again. Or that planet, but as you take a cube away from a grey planet, you can return it to any track. Oh, that's nice. So you can keep his money and then... Yeah, yeah, you can keep your money and decrease, for example, your science production. Yeah. Great. For him. Um, I so guess I should do it now then. I, I need... Oh, now I'm gra grabbing everything. Because so <laughs> I am... Now getting money and... And science, yeah. Science there, so... Yes. Actually, you could put the cubes uh, during the upkeep phase, but you can al already put them and we can move on to the next fight that happens over here. Yeah. Okay. So let's see if I can roll six. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have... Oh, but you have a lot of damage. So yeah, yeah here so we yeah, also yeah. also your your interceptor is faster than the ancient, so you will start mm -hmm. to fire okay. first. You will only hit on the hit markers. Yeah. So let's see if I can roll six. 
Uh, oh no. Who would like to roll for the ancient? I can yep, roll. You can do it. It's, yeah. it's the same who rolls it. And the ancient will hit on fives. Okay. Yep. So no damage. Nothing. You're welcome. <laughs> I can go again. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, nothing. Nothing. Um, ancients or? Yes, ancients turn yeah. then. No, he's from there. Ooh. Oh, that's close, but still nothing. Yeah. Sometimes, these, gotten, early, like, sometimes these early fights are like these dice chucking championships. Yeah. Oh, that's oh, one, one hit for you. Yeah. But, so you'll, but he will need three damage to destroy your even small interceptor. Yeah. Question Nick, uh, Blue can choose to flee right now, right? Yes, anytime. Oh, yeah, anytime it's your ship's turn in the initiative order, you can either choose to fight or flee. And when you when you flee, you will basically uh, you will check the next uh, uh, nearby sector that you control. So you can only flee to a sector you control, and you would move your ship to the uh, line between the sectors. But then the ancient would get another chance to shoot at you, and. and just until your next activation, you will be able to retreat. Okay. And if you retreat from a battle, you won't get any reputation tiles for it. Of course not. But I'm here to. But uh, I don't. I don't think you're going to flee. To yeah. No. Oh, keep drawing fives. Why? <laughs> so close. Yeah. I think you're the chance should have fallen. <laughs> Statistically, yeah. you should soon be rolling hits. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, it's still five. Another five. Yeah, okay. So. Great that the ancient isn't doing much better. Oh! Yes! <laughs> yeah. Got him. You got him. Now as you yeah. destroyed one ancient, you will get two reputation tiles. So you can check here, actually, here is the reputation draws tile here okay, that will yeah. tell you yeah. how many tiles you'll get. So draw two and pick one yeah. of them. Okay, uh, the, these are the reputation tiles, okay? Yes. One, two. And then alt shift. Okay. Okay. And you place them face down next to your board. Yes. Yeah. So nobody knows what you got. Okay. One reputation tile for me. The other one I just put back. Yeah, you just put it back back there. Okay. And then I'll shuffle the stack. And then I have the the um, yeah you'll get the dis discover discovery tile a discovery tile yeah so let's see what's under there Ooh, what's this okay that's a free cruiser for you Ooh, nice what? so you found a cruiser you can put the cruiser straight on this tile where you found it okay <laughs> nice <laughs> <laughs> so i bought it the the <laughs> ship and make it my own yeah these are actually in the lord these are like ancient cruisers so you found some ancient text that you will uh, be able to build your own cruiser from uh, nice. And then if I want, I can put here uh, a disc over here. Yes, you can put the disc over there and... Yeah, but see, like if I put a disc over there and I get one more currency, <laughs> I have eight and I have to pay ten and I have... You're exactly in the same ten. situation as Kimo. <laughs> uh, I have exactly ten, so... I can do it. Oh no, I... am. I Yeah, I can do yeah, it. Yeah, it so goes I up to... It yeah, you, you, ch you have barely yeah. enough. Yeah. Precisely, so... No, oh, see, I haven't paid my science yet, sorry for that. So that was my uh, combat. Yes. And I already used my uh, calling ship also. But yeah, now you, to start with the... Uh and the, the, the upkeep phase, you'll get to use your colony ships. And what, ha what happens to the damage on my interceptor? Actually, the damage heals after the combat rounds. So okay, you, uh, you nice. won't carry combat, you won't carry damage to the next round. Mm -hmm. So now upkeep. So now up upkeep, right? Yes. So now you would get to use oh. the last colony ships, and uh, you're paying your upkeeps and incomes. Oh yeah, I'm. I I use this. Do I need to? Yeah. 
Yeah. So, but I have eight money coming. I don't have any money left. I could only get one from here. Do I first need to use this, or can I just take the? Yeah, you can just back? take this one back first, because that will actually put your money cost to seven. And then I need to take this planet. If I put it here, then I'm back in the six money. Yeah, then you would have to pay this, but you can also put it on any of these two other tracks. On science or material, because it comes from a grey planet. But I think we need science also, so... Uh, let's just maybe do this. And then I... But then I lose two materials. Uh, decisions, decisions. Yep. Guess I need to sacrifice my science. So that would put me now in one money. Yes, you and will. You will actually get one money. Three, and this will go to five. Yeah, everybody else seems to be doing fine here. Mhm. Mm Except me. What? <laughs> you oh. just had the you just had the most uh, most uh, complicated turn so far. So do I now take the discs back or? Yeah, now you'll take the discs back from the actions that you've used them. Yeah. And put it put them on the tracks. And flip your flip your colony ships. I'll once again change my team for a moment so that I can run the next round for you. Yes, I think we're ready to go to the third round of the game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, some new technologies available again. So, is this Rift Cannon what I have, actually? Uh, yeah, you found it in a discovery child. This rift cannon is basically the same, but this is a rare technology that you get to pick, put on the track. And if you have this technology, you can always upgrade these rift cannon parts anywhere, on any of okay, your ships. No, but I only have it on that one ship. Yes, you only have it on that one ship. You don't have the technology to build more of them. Yeah. So those are actually the two only ways to get rift cannon in this game, if, you, if the rare tech comes out or if you get it from a discovery tile. So that's a pretty rare weapon. So it's white, Tularian's turn to start with. I'm doing a research, but great, there is some some nice choices there. Too many. <laughs> <laughs> It's hard because basically all the techs are good in a certain situation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can only get probably one. Uh, I wonder why the uh, black uh, technology tiles do not chain. Ah, there is the new one. That's nice, huh? Yeah, because basically each turn you draw a certain amount of technology tiles and these, of course, these are rare technologies, so rare. they are more rare in the mm -hmm. set. Because whereas with the standard text you have like, uh, even some of the text, there are like five of the same in the bag. But per each rare technology there is only one tile corresponding to it. Yeah, I'm going to uh, go to the toilet and be right back. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Who's turn it? Sorry, mine. I uh, actually don't know what to do. <laughs> so. 
some hard. Let me check. I can probably help you. You have some great decks already on the lowest, lowest track, so you might want to get something to fill that up. Think of maybe getting the advanced robotic. Yeah, that's always a good choice, because then you will get one one disc back. So basically, it's a free action for you in a sense, because the disc will come straight back to your track. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, I guess I get that one. Yeah. So that's six for me. Yeah, that's usually the best best choice to go for. And you will find the extra disc here in the bag next to your board. I'll just place that one on the research. Yeah, you can do it that way also. Okay, I will also do some research. You have pretty strong text on the middle row already. Mm. But um, I think I will uh, also take the advanced robotics. So it would cost me seven. Yeah, that's correct. Here and one there. So I will get an extra disc here on my. Yes, thing. you can take it from here. Good. So it's Green's turn. Alrighty. Well, let's see. Um, now that I'm. What was the text? Do we have anything that I could actually want? Do, do, do I have enough <laughs> science to take anything? Three? Probably not. No. Fusion drive. Fusion drive possibly is a possible choice for you, but... Yeah... But maybe I'll I'll go looking for trouble, <laughs> as I now have a ship that can maybe handle something. Uh, I'll I'll go here. Actually, uh, you can't go there because you don't have any control in the uh, neighboring sectors. Ooh, wait. But for a sector um, three, you could go either here or here. Okay, I'll go here. Yeah. Okay, that's the warp warp portal. Mm. Not so yet, I'm not yet connecting to anything, but I'm I'm getting friends, right? <laughs> no, there is actually no ancients on this tile. Yeah, yeah, but from he the, from here, at some point, I'll get some friends. Maybe. If someone right. else finds a tile with this symbol, then they will be connected, even though if the tile is over here. So uh, now I get to place... Uh, first you'll get the discovery tile, because there ah. is this symbol in the middle. Yeah. So that's actually a really different one. This is an endgame scoring tile. If you keep it this side up, you will get one extra victory point per each reputation tile of value 3 or more. Mm -hmm. So all trees three tiles are now worth four points for you and all four point tiles are worth five points for you. So if you're planning on doing a lot of fighting with early, early fighting with ancients getting big tiles that is actually huge points. Maybe I I try it if I I could get it so. Yeah that would be great. Yeah. And now I get to place one round cube and... Yes remember the disc first. Yeah sorry. No problem. I'm not used to inhabiting planets. No. You know, I'm usually getting <laughs> the ancients, so this is all new to me. <laughs> <laughs> what? Nothing to fight? And now I have a ship? <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. 
so I guess that's my oh I, I I need to use the disc for the action yeah the disc, yeah. disc also for the action and flip your I'll flip your colony ships there exploration yeah yes so I also go and explore I'm gonna explore the one town next to me yeah over here yeah <coughs> and hey that's nice nice that and looks easy. great that's an easy yeah. which way is that ah. the way yeah, let's see. Do I do it like this? Yep. <laughs> Depends on if you want to be neighbors with white or not. Yeah. So why are we gonna be allies? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you we're gonna ally, and then I do it like uh, like the first one. I like this then. Okay. So how much do you get points for being an ally? You'll get one point, yeah. one point per ambassador tile you have, and you'll get to put uh, one of your cubes on the ambassador tile. So you'll even get resources from practically from the other player, so to say. But you can't wage a war then. Uh, yeah. You definitely can, but you have to take the traitor tile, which will be All minus right. points in the end game. So, but uh, what do you get if you fight other players? Uh, this uh, reputation chart here will show you uh, how many tiles you get for the different chips type of the other players. And if you destroy another player's system, then you will get to influence it and colonize the planets. Okay. Yeah, I give you this uh, ambassador. <laughs> I'm I'm nowhere near to being connected <laughs> to anyone. To <laughs> Get yeah, get yeah, alliances. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I would be happy to get one because you know I would really like to get some resources. No, uh, I'm going exploring, so I hope I got a portal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're you're friends with everybody. Yay! Yay! Your hope went. <laughs> <laughs> so can we now build an alliance? If yeah, he sure. uh, if he decides to colonize it, yeah. You will get the discovery tile first, also. That's an orbital uh, and two materials, so you will get an orbital heal here immediately. Nice. Yeah, that's nice. That's great. Okay, and uh, so now you'll get to do an ambassador deal, white and green player. Where's my cubes? <laughs> <laughs> and can I immediately um, use the orbital? Yes, you can also colonize the orbital. You'll have to use another yeah. colony ship for it. Yeah, okay. And you can put a cube either from the science or money track there. Nice. Galaxy. <laughs> now your uh, galaxy sure. galaxy kind of wraps around itself oh. on the oh, edges. Uh, <laughs> also my ambassador to green. How do, how do I get only one? It's Crapping everything from it. Uh, you have to just click once. Right. To drag it so, like this. Yes, yeah. alright. So, so put yeah. one of the cubes from any of the tracks on it. Here, here is your, for you, the tile. Oh. It goes to there. the first available here. There. And a cube. And then I put one of my cubes from any track. I think <laughs> we are going with science at this point. We, we see that white player is going going with the friendly strategy, but you're making a lot of resources with every player like this. That's yeah. actually actually mm -hmm. pretty amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So was this a bad move to make friends with him? Definitely no, because it helps both of you. Yeah. Helps both of us, yeah. <laughs> to be allied at the beginning of the game, I think is a good thing. Uh, yeah, you will break it at one point. In oh, damn world. your science! You have 15 science. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I already got that fast uh, labs. Yeah, yeah, so he's building for white, science. White is uh, done. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so I want to explore a bit more and uh, retire. 
I'll put it here. And then it's okay. Way. So you nice. get one discovery tile, right? You get the discovery tile, I'll take it to you from here. These are always exciting to see what comes. Yeah. So, so there is a ship it? part. Okay. So it, uh, it's a drive that will allow you to move two spaces per activation. It will also generate you two power. Mm -hmm. nice. That's nice. Um, first I will put my... Uh, the so you all are getting like engines and shields and I'm getting guns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm living in a violent part of this <laughs> galaxy. <laughs> There are only guns. Seems, seems to suit you as you have many things to shoot at. Yeah. Okay. True that. So Alrighty. Um. I think it would be the best. Oh, so this needs to energy, yeah? The jump drive. So easy. Is it me then? Uh, I'm, I'm still thinking where to put this tile, but... Uh, yeah, but I think you can start your turn, even though, because yeah, yeah. this no. doesn't, doesn't affect okay, you. Okay, so I'll explore some more, because I really want, like, to find some friends now, or or get some more stuff. Only one sector three tile left. So I'll, Yeah, I think I'll, they're all here. I'll explore yeah. here. Still no um, friends for you. So that's just. Um, I can put my cube. Oh no, disc. I mean, and then I can just colonize. Oh, oh, only one. Yes, you can colonize the materials planet there, because the money money planet is advanced. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. alrighty. Okay, well that's not so bad. No, my turn. Yeah, I'm. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna explore the last uh, tree tile. Uh, right over here. Yeah, so now you can't explore any more sector tree tiles in this game. I get disc over there. And then you'll get to colonize it with any color. Yeah, I'm doing that money. That's money, money, usually, money. usually the best choice to colonize those. Yeah. Just money gives you more actions. Yeah, so most, most play done. money is the most important resource in this game. Mm -hmm. Well, not for Tilarium. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that science power is amazing. Yeah, it is. He will start doing great things from the next turn. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this co I think also compensates uh, having less actions. Yeah. Yeah. Because what does the, the advanced robotics do? Gives you an extra disc. Yes. So you get less far on the. Yeah, you oh, have so you, you have three extra disc discs in the back next oh, to your okay. board. And you'll get one disc if you research the uh, advanced robotics, and you'll get two more discs if you advance the quantum grid. Okay, cool. That's nice. I. I turn right. Um, I think I pass. Okay. So, me. Okay, so it's my turn. Yeah, flip and your I action card. I want to explore once more. Oops. Now you can only explore here on sector one or sector two, because all the sector yeah. three tiles have been taken. I take the last sector two tile. 
Uh -huh. Oh, that's true. That's also the last one. Wait. No enemies here. That's an empty, empty place. Just brings. Uh, Gives you a discovery mm. tile and a few points. Yeah. Also <laughs> note that th note that there are discovery tiles under all these guardians. Yeah, I just realized I could have used influence to get more colony ships. Yeah. yeah. Could I maybe do that then? I think we can take take it back for you. Okay. Because that doesn't Sorry. that that doesn't eff affect the other players in uh, any way. I, I don't get the two money then, and instead I'll build. Uh, yeah, I'll build, and then I'll build two, uh, uh, two of those uh, orbital stations. Yeah. Okay, and Great. then next. Okay. Yeah, let's continue uh, here. So, what did uh, you get on your discovery tile? I've waited. Whoa, that's an amazing uh, weapon. Plasma. plasma turret, so it will give you two plasma dice with the cost of three energy. That's nice. I think it's so nice that you don't, you actually do have energy to pull it off on the dreadnought. Yeah. Wow. That's one uh, scary ship. <laughs> yeah, starting <laughs> to look really, <laughs> really good. Um, five energy. Yeah, and you're, yeah. you're and just I pulling it off. Yeah. It is. <laughs> Those are scary things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I. Okay. If and I will you will you influence it? Yes, I will do because if I want to move to the other ones or. But you can. You have control over here, so you can explore here ah, already. Okay. So the the one I can explore, and yeah, and moving here is. Uh, possible for me. Yeah, you can definitely move through sectors that you haven't influenced. Okay. So that I don't, I don't see any point for you to influence that yeah. sector now, uh, other yeah, than I if you don't want to use an influence action later in the game to do it for points. Yeah, no, but I will not do it. So um, yeah. Yeah, it's great choice. Fine. Yeah. So I will pass. Okay, so now you'll actually get the first player. So can I two money. Two money. Oh, great. Well, I'll pass two. Yeah, I'll use my action to influence and turn over to colony ships. Yes, I don't think there is anything you could do with the influence action other than that. Yeah, at least you shouldn't do anything else. <laughs> no. Great. So, uh, I was not so quick in thinking what. <laughs> yeah, sometimes sometimes it happens that everybody does their moves so fast that you have no idea what you're going to do. Okay, um, Sorry. technology to build the orbitals, is it uh, still available? No, not right now. Okay. It's just Which no. one was it? Okay, this yeah. Ah, okay, good. Yeah, then um, I will pass. Yeah. There is some weird iconography with the uh, technology board, because actually the tiles are from the second edition, and this board here is from the first edition. Okay. Oh, okay. The second edition, you'll actually get plastic trays that will hold all these components, and the uh, technologies are separate from the ship parts there. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So we do combat, but nobody's in combat, I think. Uh, uh, white player hasn't white passed yet. White oh. Uh, yeah, I'll pass. Okay. okay. Yeah, then it's time for combat. So, do we have combat? Nope, I think so. No, I don't think we even have combat anywhere. So we'll go straight to the mm -hmm. up upkeep phase. So now you can use mm -hmm. the rest of your colony ships. 
Yeah, I will. And uh, now we can do the upkeep, so... Yes, just I'm, count I your to, income and your upkeep. I need to pay 7 and I generate 8, so... So actually I, you'll go up 1. Yeah. And then I'll go... I'll gain uh, 21 science. <laughs> <laughs> 21 science, ridiculous. That's, <laughs> that's ridiculous, yeah. I think that's, that it's only beginning of turn four, and you're doing that amount of science in the game. I think. I mean, I did. Whoa, get that's scary. Apps, <laughs> and yeah, I that's. I did build all those stations <laughs> for science and all those ambassadors for science. So can we? Can, yeah. can we congratulate the winner already? Or. <laughs> yeah. no, I've, I haven't gotten that many points yet. Oh, yeah, three points from the ambassadors. Yeah. Right, yeah, and points um, for the, the sectors you control. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but you'll see the points uh, settle only on the last last rounds. Practically everything is open until that. Yeah, then you can take your uh, discs back from the actions you've used. And reset your colony ships. I think it might actually do that, or doesn't it? Skirt. So this is actually clever that now sort of the upkeep is uh, staying quite high. Yes, because mm -hmm. you've colonized Already. many, many sectors, then that means that you know, your your empire is growing and all the costs are rising. Yeah, I think you're all ready, so let's go to the next round. Yeah. So what do we get for the white player here? So now you have that so hard improved hull available again. Oh, I'll change my color again so you can see my hand. Or an antimatter splitter. What's that? Uh, that's actually when you fire like a weapon like antimatter cannon, which deals four damage. If you have like four ships with one hit point, you would still mm -hmm. deal four damage to one ship, so you would only get to destroy one. If you have the antimatter splitter that allows you to separate the damage from a single shot of antimatter cannon to every shi ship. Mm. So with nice. one hit you would be able to destroy four things with only one hit point. Mm -hmm. uh, wait a moment, confrontation field, so this is three hull. Yes, but as you can see on the part it will take two energy. Yeah, you can check the uh. ship parts here. Okay, okay, so that's actually not that good. It's good if you have a really heavy energy sources, uh, for example, like tachyon sources or something like that available, but... But not at the moment, no. How much science did I have again? Nine. So I do think I'm going from the for the improved hull because I didn't get it the last time around. So I need to use one of my yes, use the research action and research. you'll have to pay the full price of six science. Six. Yep, that was my turn. Yeah, now it's my turn. Yes. I'm gonna research advanced mining. Okay. Oh, that's great, because you have so many decks on the fir first row already, so... You'll get it for eight. Yeah. So then I pay seven, and then two materials. Yeah, two materials. And I did a research. Yes, great. And you'll get to colonize those planets in the upkeep phase. Mm -hmm. I'm going with absorption shield. Okay. Yeah, that's a rare tech, so you can put it on any track. Uh, let me see if I want to place it there but next. Yeah, you're getting like really serious D 
discount yeah, here on the lowest track, but I'm, you'll... I'm, I'm not sure if I even want more yellows. I want them. Yeah, because you'll have to also see that if you fill up the track, you can't research a technology of that color anymore. Mm. Oh, okay. okay. So it cost me eight? Actually, I don't think I'm putting it in the middle. Yeah, because you have so many science to spare, so... Also remember about the uh, points, score, po victory points you'll be getting for each row if you have many techs on one row. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Seven. Okay, I've already done my uh, research. <laughs> okay, you were fast. So what did you take? The uh, advanced, advanced, advanced labs. labs. Okay, yeah. great. So with one build action, we can only build um, two things. Two things. Oh, yes. Okay. And if you have the nano robots, you can build three things. Yeah. That's green uh, green player style. Ah, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> ah, sorry, I didn't realize. Um all right. Yeah, no problem. Then I think I will So I need to upgrade if I want these hulls. Yes, right. You will need to do an upgrade action. All right. So I think I'm going to upgrade and um, ba -ba -ba -ba. I'm taking the two of those new hulls that I over here. Is yeah. Oh. This time I'm not giving them to the blue player. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now they're stuck again. All right, so I'll take one for the this. So now it takes two hits to kill it. Or three hits, actually. Yeah, three right. hits. And if I put one here, then... Your interceptors will take four hits to kill them. <laughs> those, are, those are really ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Four hits? What do you mean? Aha! Because you get one from oh. the rift conductor there or also. <laughs> do I really want to do that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, one thing you have to remember that the rift cannon might damage yourself. Yeah. So maybe I'll do that. That's just ridiculous ship then. Alright. I think the point in upgrading ships is to make them as ridiculous as possible, because then they're the most intimidating things on the board. Mm -hmm. I think the most intimidating ship on the board will be the Dreadnought from here. <laughs> <laughs> I believe so. <laughs> Just, that's that's, that's looking really, really tough. Killing everything. Yeah, moving. But it Two spots. Yes. It does not have any initiative. No. So it's last, but yeah. it still has to hold. I will uh, build. Yeah. And I will build two interceptors. Okay. Build them right there. Oh, it cost me um, six. Six, yes. That looks great. Mm-hmm. 
No, you have only if, you have the beginning of a small army there. Yeah. <laughs> only if I do one movement, uh, I can only move three of them. Yes, you can only move three of them with one movement. Yeah. Okay, so I, I need a second movement to move more. <laughs> I've, I've, I have a question. Uh, face shield of ga gas shield. What happens if they have to roll higher than six? Do they automatically miss, or is six always a hit? Uh, the uh, the hit symbol is always a hit. Okay. The same as if you have a, a lot of computers, the miss side is always a miss. That's why the dice dice look like that, and there's no one and one and six on the dice, because these are just to remember that they always do damage if they hit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's clear. Uh, I guess I'll research. Surprise. Yeah, and I'll get the <laughs> antimatter cannon <laughs> for thirteen. Wow. Okay, next. Okay. I think the most intimidating uh, ships will be coming from here. Yeah. yeah. I, Where? I think so too. I want to explore over Ooh. here. The number yeah. Empire. Luckily, we have an alliance. <laughs> <laughs> okay. ah, oh, see. two ancients. That's two ancients. That's actually a great style, seeing as it it will give you four victory points in the end game. That is pretty huge. Okay. So. How would you like to rotate it? Is that okay? Hmm? Uh, that's yeah. fine, fine for me. Great. Then. Yeah, I can put two ancients for it. The ancients are found here next to the next to the research is okay. maybe put them next to each other so we don't forget that too yeah good idea that looks great okay so um that's basically my turn yeah so the green, green. Um, I'm thinking if I want to go with something really crazy, crazy, I'm, I'm not, yeah, let's go, let's go for something crazy, so, um, I think I'm going to build, or am I going to build, <laughs> Cause, wait a moment, because if he's getting this, But yeah, he has to win it first. Okay, so maybe I'll maybe I'll go crazy and I'll just um yeah I'll build two of my strange interceptors. Um, yeah, <laughs> and uh, that costs me six. six so that will leave me wait a moment five yes yep done I'll pass. You, might, you might see what I'm doing <laughs> <laughs> and yeah now you'll get the two money for that okay I'll uh, upgrade so what will you put on a ship? Oh, well, that's crazy because you have those conifer fields that will provide you with the energy needed for the antimatter cannons. Because mm -hmm. they are so energy heavy weapons. Yeah, I know. I think I'm going to operate the cruiser because I want to attack this turn. Great. So here you're producing seven and you're using only five. That's mm -hmm. really nice. Yeah, it's still room for upgrade. So it's my turn? Yeah, next. Yeah. Okay. Am I going bankrupt again? Hmm. 
Mm. Um, I have a question, the jump drive. Um, yes. How, how far can I uh, move with that? Only one? Tile? Only the next, only the next tile only the per next activation. Tile. That's their downside, because they're so flexible that you can move to any neighboring mm -hmm. tile, but they're not very fast. Okay. Then I want to build and I want to build two cruisers. So how can I choose more up? Just uh, hold your left yeah. Yeah. And paint them. Good. Nice. So. Oop. <laughs> uh oh. Oops. I'm killing everything. <laughs> <laughs> you can actually, if you wish, you can lock the tiles you discover by uh, yeah. clicking it. Okay, so it's green turn. Green turn. Right, so I guess yeah. everyone knows what I'm doing. Um, this is again. I'm going bankrupt, but I'm still doing it. Wait a moment. There is move. So move, and I want to see what my babies can do. So let's <laughs> <go there. laughs> just for the. How do I look? Lock these tiles. Uh, right click on them. I can lock it for uh -huh. you. Uh -huh. Oh, but okay. I can lock it when it's in position. I think. Just right click on toggles and lock, I think that's... Yeah. It's also if you click L after... Okay. Or after hovering a tile. Yeah, let's do, do that too. All the tiles. Yeah. Okay. Because in this game you won't be removing tiles at any point. If you don't them. see a border, then it's already locked. <laughs> ah, yeah. Okay. So... Great, now there Everything should be... Everything is locked now. The galaxy is set. That's annoying, though. It's now great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll try one tile that can be explored here. Yeah, that's the last place there can be any explore actions happening. Leave it then. That okay. So, whose turn is it? Uh, I think it's blue's. Blue turn. Okay. No, well, I passed pass already. Ah, oh, you passed. Passed already. He's yeah. Passed. Pretty great. Oh, okay. Um. I'll yeah. Build. I'll spend four materials and two money, so five in total to get a cruiser. I'll put the disc in for you for the action. Oh yeah. Remember that. Yep. So I want to move. Um, this is now interesting where you're going with this. Because we have the galactic center available, you are the double ancient. Uh, the galactic center is too much for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it will need eight, eight hits to destroy it. Yeah. So m move points one, two, and. I can also move. And it hits on plus two. Yes. So basically, four. 50 50 if it hits. Ooh, that's. That's way too. Yeah, but that was your move, so green. Yeah. I'm passing. Okay. I I'm moving. I, I can afford to. <laughs> yeah. So then, white, okay. you move. Okay, nice. 
And yellow, are you still doing actions? Um, just thinking. I think you barely could afford to do one more action. Yeah, the question is if it's worth it. Actually, you could now uh, explore this tile because you have ships ah. in the neighboring tile. Ah, okay. So I thought I was safe there. So. But he can't uh, put a dish there. No, he would I go bankrupt. Uh, let's see. But he get the exploration uh, of the discovery tile. That's true. So I was thinking, do I need to do it? Oh, I didn't realize. Okay. The starting plan next round, blue. Okay. Yeah, so you still have the time to do it next yeah. round. Yeah. So, so uh, I think I will do that not this round, and I also, yeah, I will pass. Okay. Just, just to say that is a declaration of war, but. <laughs> 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 okay. Amazing. Okay, so it's uh, oh, quite player only. Yes. So now we'll be getting some combat again. Mm -hmm. Let's see. So we have combat start. over here. We have combat over here, and combat over here. So I think this three or five is, I think, the highest. Three or five is higher. Yeah. First three or five, then three or three, and. Then what is this? One oh nine. So do Let's I start here. throw through I throw two of these. Yes, so you start you'll start. Drawing two of them. With with my I might kill myself. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. yep. Oh wow. starting with that. So that's two yeah. damage to first yeah. of your ship. I assume it's Is it one per ship? One each. I uh, know one for one for the first one. No, but oh, actually, yeah, 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 yeah. You can allocate yeah. the damage. I think uh, so I'll actually no, no, have to. I, I quickly. You rolled two that. ships at the same time. Yeah, yeah. I rolled yeah. two ships. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They will both get one damage. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Who wants to be the ancients? Yep. So, so they'll one damage. One damage. Let's put. To the first one of these. Okay, and you destroyed the ancient with two damage. Yeah. So you'll get to draw two di two reputation tiles first. Uh, will the damage stay, or will it? Uh, no, oh, the damage how, damage. How, will how did it I watch this? Uh, I'll I'll shift. And all the dam damage will heal after the combat rounds are gone, so they won't stay okay. for the next game so round. So I will take this one. Yes, and let's put this one back here. <coughs> and then you'll get the reputation, uh, the discover discovery tile from the hex. Mm. Yeah, this one. Yeah, let's see what you got. Whoa, another weapon! That's crazy. So this is a, yeah. it, it makes tr takes makes three damage per hit, and only takes one energy to run it. Oh wow! <laughs> 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 you, you, it seems that you find only weapons and military stuff from your. <laughs> yeah, but doesn't it make sense to put it here or? Should that's I really a good place. Yeah. yeah, that's that's an amazing place to put it. Because yeah. you you can still run all these weapons with your three so, energy there. So it what what does it do? It's it's a standard weapon that deals three damage if it hits. Okay. And all right. So yeah. So on the five and on the six, you do three damage. Yeah, because you have the computer. <laughs> yeah. So that is actually a nice one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And do you wanna conquer the sector? That will mean that I have to lose one sector after that. Yes. But actually, that is still. But you don't lose the cubes from the sector you lose, right? 
Yes, you still uh, you I, will you I, will have, you will lose the cubes I will, also. I will lose the cube. Ah. Yeah. But, but yeah, I, I still But basically it. you have the same cube here if you're yeah. going to lose this sector so for I'm, example. Yeah. You guessed it right, so I'm yeah. I'm gonna trading it in so that's a valid thing to do. Yeah. Yeah. I'm done. So that's a great combat. Now we're moving on to here. To white, yeah. And three or three. First main scepter. Yes, your interceptor is first with one die. Already yeah, making yeah, damage. You don't even need those heavy hitters on the cruiser. Okay. Cruiser is very slow though, so uh, he's two. Yeah, he's two, so the ancient will actually attack in next. Oh yeah, so ancient is first. The yeah, ancient is first. I can be the ancient for you this time. So he will take one hit. One hit. I have minus one. Does it count for all ships? Uh, actually, in this case, because your interceptor here doesn't have, so the five will hit your interceptor. Okay. Oh, okay. But it has one hull, so. Yeah, it has one hull, one extra hull, so there is. It has. Can take one, one damage. damage. Yeah, only one damage. Yeah, then your if, cruiser's turn. If if you have uh, a shield for minus one, so does that mean that you cannot hit it with if if there is only hit with six, so that this cannot hit this at all? Uh, no, six the, will always hit. The hit symbol oh. is always a hit. Okay. That's why it's not a six and it's a hit symbol. <laughs> okay. Okay, then the interceptor. Miss. Then the ancient. So actually, that's we'll actually why my hit. pink guys yeah, yeah, are really good. Right. Yes, because you're pink. No. Yeah, yeah, pink. yeah, yeah. Because this. Right. And that's wrong. And it destroys it. So draw two reputation tiles, and keep one. And why only two now? Because uh, you destroyed one ancient. So here, mm -hmm. actually, in the reputation oh, draws, destroy, it, will, yeah. it, will, it yeah. will show you you will always get one for being in a battle. So even yeah, if, even if you destroy it, yeah, 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 even if all your ships are destroyed in a battle, you will still get one reputation tile for it. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I found I found a cruiser, I think. <laughs> you found another cruiser, yeah. yeah. I can place it here also. Uh, yeah. Intersector, you found it. Yeah, it comes from here. I'll put that okay, next sorry. to your next to your board here somewhere. Place a disc on there, of course. Surely, because there's more science for you. Yeah. Oh, uh, that happens later. Yeah, that happens in the upkeep, yeah. And then we have this fight over here. This will happen next. Yes. So, what's your initiative with this? Uh, this thing, you yeah. have actually only one, so the ancients will fight first. Yeah. So who's, who's the who's ancients? So the, but they will roll four dice. Yes, they? they will roll four, four dice. Okay, uh, here. Four dice to roll. Yes. Uh, one at a time, or uh, uh, two at a time? No. Yeah, you can shoot them at the same time because they're the same, same basically. Time. So there is no difference. Uh, okay. But they will only hit on the hit markers, and that's one hit. So one hit. And your ships will have uh, two hit points, yeah. Yes, and now uh, you will. Uh, no, I have uh, the gauze shield. Yes, you uh, had the okay. gauze shield, so uh, only the uh, hit symbol hit. Okay, okay. Yeah. So uh, it's my turn, or yes, your turn with two iron dice. Okay. And you hit with plus one, so you'll one. do one damage on one of them. Okay. So. So now it's the ancient again. This is a very close fight. Mm hmm. But no hits. Yeah. Those ghost shields are really invaluable in fights. Miss. No hits. And no hits. Oh, no, one, one hit. hit. One hit. Oh, one hit, yeah. So one one of your cruisers is actually destroyed. Yeah. Okay, they all... Because that, that one took another damage. So they hit again the one they have damaged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They always go in the order. If they so can destroy can't. something, they will destroy something. Okay. But now uh, you'll destroy so one of them. Uh, 
only one will attack. Yes, only yeah. one one ancient will attack now. So one damage. No. No, no damage. Cost the shield. Oh, no, no damage. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, no hits yet. Mm. Well, this is close. One hit. Oh. oh. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> this is tense. Yeah. No! Oh! <laughs> so close. Too bad. Sorry. Okay. No, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. But as I just declared, you will still get one reputation tile for being in a combat. So, even so though you will only destroy. one one ship remains there, right? Yes, only one ancient remains there. And actually, as you destroyed one ancient, you will get another reputation tile. So, oh no! <laughs> okay, it's rewind but time. Oh, Just a moment. What happened? Just a moment. I did a re rewind across the board. Ah, thank board you. flew away, and now I'll lock it for you. I will lock that. Did someone flip it or? No, no. No, if you uh, pick your oh, tile because it has so much stuff on it, it might glitch out and just start. Vibrating everything no, but everywhere. Yeah, only with one one tile, right? <laughs> uh, you take uh, actually two reputation tiles because you were in a combat and you destroyed one ancient in the combat. Ah, okay. So draw but, two but tiles and keep one. Yeah, that's what ah, I mean. Okay. That you only pick yeah. one. Yes. Uh, is this uh, this one here from the last? Uh, I no. no it should be better put back in oh. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Wait. I will. Put this one in there too, so just yeah. shuffle it. Yeah, I shuffled it, so. Okay, so I can two. take two and peek at them. Okay. So time for upkeep, isn't it? Yes, time for upkeep. Okay, use two. First, to use your uh, all your colony ships. Yep, and use two of them. Yeah. And then we pay for the. So again, now I'm in a situation that I need to take one away to pay for my. And then this goes to basically here. Oh. And now I need to pay 13. No. Oh, let me see. This will have to pay 13. Uh, you generate 8, so you'll have to pay 5. So yeah, you will pay the four, four money and two of another resource. Am I going to get anything? I think I need. Everybody else okay with the upkeep and everything? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And you can start also taking your income. I already did. Great. And already uh, did clean up. Okay, so now I actually can put this to. And I'll again change my color so we get the correct amount of tiles happening. Yes, and let's go to the next round, see what we get. To starting player? I am. I'm going for the orbital attack. I'll do some research. And it will cost me six. And I'm done.
Okay, I'll uh... Let's see I guess I'll uh, get to now get the uh, quantum grid. Yeah, that's fourteen. <laughs> that's crazy. Now we'll get the two extra discs from the back there. Right. Yeah, it really works. Oh, and one goes to research. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the low upkeep and the amount of signs. This is crazy. Yeah, I know. that's why I don't need the money. I have low upkeep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and here we got some sentient hulls. Those are nice pieces, also. So you'll pay six for it. Yeah. So it's Green's turn. Yeah. You took the hull, so. I don't have that much science to take anything. Is it adding up? Uh, if I put the plus one somewhere else than on the plus one? Yes, they add up. Okay. Who's taking a turn? Me, me. It's uh, green. Some heavy, heavy science planning here. <laughs> yeah, I have the same problem. <laughs> I think. <laughs> yeah, there are so many things to choose from. So. <laughs> So you have to pay anyway. The what's the small cost there? Yeah. Yeah. Even though if you have many many decks on the same row. Can't fit anything in my ships <laughs> anymore. <laughs> That's the thing. Yeah. Mm. I think for you the most useful deck at the moment could be something like computers for your cruisers. Because practically you don't need any computers for your interceptors, but your cruisers might benefit from them pretty nicely. Computers? Yeah, the positron computers. Yeah, so that's... Plus two to hit, so that would be... they hit on... They would hit on four if you replace the old computers. Four. Yeah, that actually isn't that bad plan. Yeah, I'll I'll pay by that. So, well, come with me, you green one. So I have to pay seven for it. Yes. So, to this research and yeah. Great. Done. I'm gonna build. And then kind of build two orbitals. Okay. Get my economy a little bit better. Yeah, orbitals are a huge help to your economy. Yeah. Even, especially in the late game, because basically you can't explore and find the new resources that mm -hmm. way, so the orbitals are the only way to progress. Yeah, I should have infested them in earlier. Oh, uh, research. Um, 
and I'll get the black coin, Nikoni fold field. Coin fold field, yeah. yeah. I like to say that I'll research that too. So that costs five, nevertheless, always. Yeah, can't really use my discount sets now. <laughs> yeah. It's great to put it in the track where you get the least discount. I just did. Because <laughs> I figure I can always fill that once, other ones later. <laughs> yeah, with that science production, definitely. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah. Artifact key here actually is a very very special kind of tech. So I'll have to explain a few things for you. Because uh, here on these hexes that you've conquered, some of them feature ancient artifacts. And there are actually these gray stars next to the Victory Point logo, for example on this sector or on this sector. And those interact with a few discovery tiles in the game and the artifact key research. So when you research the artifact key, you will actually gain five resources per artifact you have on your hexes. All right. Mm -hmm. So for example, if yellow would be researching artifact, artifact key, now you would get five of one resource and five of another. So they are. that's a huge way to pump up your resource amounts if you have a lot of artifacts on your systems. Yeah, I, I noticed. But, uh, I'm saving it. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't think I want to research anymore. <laughs> and then I want to upgrade. So I take two of these. Great. So green can continue. Unless he wants to wait. All right. Uh, what yeah. are you doing? I'm uh, just putting the tiles on. All right. Okay. So I am going to uh, explore. You final tile. <laughs> the final explorer of the game. Let's see. Um, just what you wanted, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Not too bad. Where do I want this pointing to? Maybe I want to keep my options open to go to the middle as well. Yep, let's do that. One question. Um, yep. If the orange uh, dice uh, trigger with a five, um, is it also two damage? Yeah, it's always always two damage. Always two damage. Always two damage with the orange dice. So do I get the? Where are the? Where are the ancients here? No, okay. first oh. I need the one discovery. <laughs> where are the discovery tiles? Are oh, the here? discovery tiles are here? Yeah. So one over here. Of these and two of these. Are you had? I'll give you another. Yeah. Yeah, let's put them slightly next to each other so that we remember that there are two no, of them. No, <laughs> it's, it's more exciting when you realize <laughs> during the battle that, oh, there's another one. <laughs> yeah, that was that was hilarious. Fortunately, I had the ship for it. Yeah. And the luck. <laughs> hmm.
Yeah, I, I'm, I'm done. It's blue, right? Okay. And do another projection and build one other orbital. You can use, build two things, right? So I'm not sure if you could have done that last turn. Yeah, but I only have money for one. Okay. Uh, well, I'll research again. Get the transition drive. For seven. Next. Nice. Okay. I'm going to build um, for eight. <coughs> one of these. Okay, those are intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Just red knots. I've pimped it a bit. A bit, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so wait a moment. I've... All oh, right, so it's... Four shields. Oh. Uh, you hit on what? Two? On three. No, no. On three? Three, four, five, and six. <laughs> right. Oh, and you're throwing what? Two, two, two orange. plasma dice. Yeah, doing two damage per hit. Hmm. <laughs> but no initiative. Initiative. No initiative at all. <laughs> <coughs> Okay, that was great. <laughs> so but green. You have four hull, so yeah. Yeah, five hits to destroy. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> so it's green's turn. Yeah. Um. I think I will... I need four moves to get these two here, right? Yeah, so I uh, can't do Four moves, more. yeah, yeah. One question it's about movement. The dreadnought yep. can move to uh, tile far. Um, yes. Is it two of the three movement points, or is it no per one? per a movement point? So practically, you with one move action, you could move a single dreadnought a uh, six spaces. Okay. Or you could move, for example, this dreadnought four spaces and the interceptor one space. Yeah. Okay. I am building two orbitals. Okay. So I'll pass again and get uh, okay. two. Okay, you get two. So I I place these on my planets. Yes, any any okay. sector you control, you can put them on. Okay. Nice. Okay. I'll upgrade my ships. Okay. What have we coming here? <laughs> uh, this one. Your lore starting to have pretty serious ships there. Yeah. Jane. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's one of, one of the most fun parts in this game that everybody's ships end up completely different from each other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, whose turn is? Yeah, it's green. Yellow. Green turn. Or yellow? Me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yellow. Okay. So yeah, yeah. I will move. You didn't do anything yet. Uh, I want to move over here. <laughs> and I'm done. 
I want revenge. Still not Wait. in the middle. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, still not in the middle. I want to do that with two dreadnoughts. <laughs> <laughs> or anybody else should. It's okay, so it's green. Yeah. In the center. You still could barely do one more action. Let's. This is only one ancient here, right? Yeah, we're going. We're going in, boys. <laughs> but who is going in? Let's see. So this takes only. Th you could move him, yeah, with three activations you could move your cruiser there. Yeah, I'm thinking, can it take it? I mean, yeah, 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 let's do that, so... Let's make him come here. That's that's my action. Yeah. So blue no reaction, so let's go to white, I think. Oh build. Cost me four materials and two science. And I'll build another cruiser. Okay, next. Whoa. I pass. Okay, so green. What? I um, I yeah. pass. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm really <laughs> passing again. I'm throwing my guard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's all my cruises it, to the middle. <laughs> <laughs> it's tilted. Oh. oh, it's it's locked. <laughs> <laughs> I'll unlock it for you. Yeah. I'm. So, whoa! I'm that really was that was a luck. huge huge move. For white, it seems to really pay off to get those extra discs. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, everybody yeah. else, any reactions or is it white, white again? If I'm again, I'll just pass. So w okay. what are the reactions? What could we do? Uh, you can do an upgrade build or a move, but for each reaction you will al always use one of these discs and you will get to do the action only once. So mm -hmm. move one ship or build one ship or upgrade uh -huh. one thi one tile. So usually you don't cool. want to. What yeah. if I move one of my ships into the same <coughs> area? Why move the ships? Yeah, you could do if that. If I do this, yeah, you can what, do that. What, what if? Yeah. Uh, if we have multiple players, for example, like two players and one ancient here, it will actually you will battle in the order of entry. So the last last ones to order uh, in in that sector will actually fight first. So in this case, okay. uh, blue and white would fight each other first. And then mm -hmm. the survivor gets to fight the ancients there. So okay. the ancients are just looking at. <laughs> yeah, the ancients will start just looking at what those two are doing and hope and they destroy each it. other. Yeah, like. You. Okay, <laughs> but uh, let's battle. Yeah, let's do battles. So we have battles over here. Uh, green first. Over here and over here. So yeah, yeah. it's green first. In this Again. Order. So what am I throwing now? I'm throwing one blue and one... One yellow, and yes, you're still yellow. first in initiative. One blue and one yellow and hitting on fives. And he needs one hit. Yeah, one hit from the blue one or two hits from the yellow. <laughs> <laughs> Just throw the white <laughs> yellow one again. That's something that shouldn't oh. probably happen in a oh, digital okay. game. <laughs> Yeah, okay, how how do I how do I select this? Oh no, now it's selected. Okay. Okay, but no, it's there. So then the yeah. engine. Uh, two yellow dice. Yeah? Yes, two yellow dice from the engine. And one, one hit. hit. One hit. Yes, one hit. and you have three hit points on your cruiser. Yeah. Come on! And oh, that's, yeah. That's I actually one one damage on the engine. Okay. Yeah. So now it can actually kill me. Close to. I'm still alive. You're still alive, yeah. 
And now you actually destroyed him with your puny little weapon. Yeah. So check your reputation tiles first. Oh, yeah. So you will get the two, so two reputation and choose one. Two. And I'll shift. Okay, I'll take this one. And can you return the other one to the back for me, please? And then, yeah. um... Then you get the discovery tile. Yeah, this Let's one Let's see what here. you get. <laughs> <laughs> you continue with the weapon, <laughs> weapon line. <laughs> how, how do you get I, only I, weapons? <laughs> I, I seriously would have liked to get, like, money or resources <laughs> or something. <laughs> but I'm getting weapons, so... Yeah, here we actually have a new weapon type for the game, the missiles. Because missiles are special to all the other weapons, so that they are always fired first. Before the combat starts, you'll get to fire mm. your weapons before you count anything in initiative. But the missiles are also fired only once at the beginning of the combat. And if the combat goes to more rounds, you don't get to fire your missiles again. Mm -hmm. ah. So they're like one-shot special weapons. Well, that's a bit of a big hole then. Maybe for the star base. <laughs> Yeah, they could be yeah. great for the star bases. If I can nicely turn. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's do that. Okay, so that's I, great. I have basically found four weapons. <laughs> and nothing. <Yeah>. Else. <laughs> oh, you found this one thing that will give you more points if you battle a lot. Oh, so I think yeah, they combo true. really nicely. Yeah. Yeah, what is? Yeah, he already has some, but this will give you one extra victory point for each three or four tile he has. Yeah, uh, but would you would you like to influence this sector that you just won? Um, look at my situation. Oh wait a second, I'll come there. You can't play it. Y yeah, I think. Well, you can actually. You could influence it because then you can colonize the gray planet with the. Uh, money cube and then you can pay the other resources to pay for your upkeep. Mm. True. Actually, so you yeah, you so still barely have enough. So where on the where on the sector. I? On the sector. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah true true true. Sorry. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> it's here. And then I get to place one money. Yeah in the in the upkeep upkeep phase. Ah yeah. So yeah. I can't do it yet. No. Okay. Yeah, let's go on to this fight. I'm really curious okay. to see how these dreadnoughts work in a <laughs> battle. Okay, so first, um, my interceptor. Yeah, I think your interceptor is the first one. Is going to fight. So going with one and hitting on a hit symbol. Yeah. Yep, it does nothing. nothing. And then it's the ancient. And actually so missing because you have. Oh, it's actually, it's hitting, hitting the dreadnought. Yeah. Yeah, so your dreadnought takes one damage. And now the dreadnought. Yeah, now the dreadnought back. hits hits on three. That's crazy. So it's four. Yeah, damage. that's just <laughs> mental. <laughs> Are you <laughs> sure it's dead? <laughs> Twice dead. Do, do, do you get like? Did you have the like Gloomhaven, the Overkill mission here going on or something? <laughs> you get two two ticks now to your character. Or what are you do I trying to do here? Take your take your <laughs> reputation tiles. One, one <laughs> reputation tile or two, two, two reputation tiles. And, and pick one. Keep one. Peek at them and keep one. A monolith. monolith. Yeah, that's actually a monolith in this space. Okay. So you can just put it there. And that's now very... Sp that space will give you seven victory points if you hold it at the end game. Yeah. Okay, I will... So you will probably want to hold it. 
Yes. Good. So let's. Yes. Fight. So let's ho head over to this fight here. Oh, so the galactic center will always shoot shoot last. That's good. <laughs> I expected him to go first. <laughs> yes. So good you time. have antimatter weapons and hitting on five. And he has eight points, so you... Blah, 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 okay, okay, okay. <coughs> Again, this is just crazy how powerful you all are. So, for the Galactic Center, actually, you'll get to draw three. Plus one for, plus one for being in a battle. I'll put these back for you. And now you get the discovery tile. Oh, oh, nice! Just what I needed. <laughs> <laughs> the research guy gets the research stuff. The research I actually need. Okay. Uh, that's that's not a that, that's not a research. That's actually a ship part. Oh, that's a, a ship part. Oh, oh. yeah, it's a ship case, part. I, I, I could have like used something like that, or. What? And now you can put like two antimatter weapons there and be like, okay, I have the power. Yeah, I was planning to do that, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Now I think you, you'll you want to influence the uh, yes. center. Oh, yeah. I was just looking at if you're going going bankrupt, but yeah, you have the money planets there, uh, so... I just barely have it. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, let's go, go to the upkeep. Okay. Oh. Now, so you, now you can use the uh, colony ships and put the uh, next cubes on the planets. Okay, so put the ships and then just wait a moment. But do Remember that you have this, <laughs> this crazy. Wait a moment, but can I actually use? This? Oh, this is not in even boats. I thought one was fun and was yeah, uh, advanced. Yeah, there are two, two standard money planets. So mm -hmm. you can colonize both of them. So I think you want to take one of these back. No, so I'm what not were so you sure about that. <laughs> <laughs> what were you asking, Kimo? I didn't quite catch that. No, I was, I was thinking that can I actually... But I can only use this one planet. I didn't realize they were advanced. Yeah, these are advanced oh. planets, yeah. I can't use them. Alrighty then. Yes, so then you'll have to pay your upkeeps. And gain the income. And we can flip the ships. Yes, you can also flip the colony ships. And then I'll once again change my color to the black so I can set you up for the next round. By the way, it's getting really late, so I don't know what uh, everybody else's plan was. Well, it's 8 o'clock here soon so but yeah how long does it take to finish this uh we have two more rounds after this one so three, three more rounds so three, three more three more rounds i think it's an hour or so mm. probably well we did like one two three four five rounds in four hours almost yeah yeah with true. the uh, with the expla rules explanations and everything yeah okay so so I think, uh, I think at this point everybody has like a clearer picture of what they're going to do. So that also yeah. makes the game go a little faster on the last rounds. Of course, there is a lot of fighting and everything like that happening also. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Who was our starting player this round? It's yeah, blue. Ben. Yeah, blue again. Yeah. Yeah, I'm always the last, because blue wants to. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Resign. I didn't have a good economy, but now I'm uh, 
a little bit up again. I'm gonna do some science research. And let's see what's coming up. Where's the meta synthesis? Uh, that actually represents all the different advanced techs. So if you get the meta synthesis, you will be able to colonize all advanced planets. Okay. Even yeah. as as though if you had all the advanced techs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I'm going to buy the the rift cannon. Mm -hmm. And I'll pay six for it. And I'm done. Great. I'll get the um, metasynthesis. <laughs> because I was <laughs> waiting for the uh, production one. Who, who would have guessed? <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm so really fun. blown away by that decision. <laughs> okay, and okay. Okay, that's crazy. <laughs> 14 and 5. Okay. I think I, uh, the moment where I have to quit is, has come. <laughs> okay. So maybe you want to take. I can over. I can take over for you, yeah. if everybody else still wishes to continue playing. I think this looks really fun at the moment. Yeah. Thank you very much for explaining and for the nice game. Hey, thank Have you so much for playing. Thanks. Thanks for joining us. Hope you had fun. <laughs> yes. Yes. Bye bye. So, bye. Um, how do I leave the seat? Uh, you can just press menu and exit, I think, or you can first click your own name at the top of the screen and choose spectator for your role. Okay. Yeah, maybe. Good. So, have uh, more fun with this game. <laughs> <laughs> see you maybe another yeah. time. Bye. Great. Thanks. Hope to see you in SN someday. Yeah. Okay, was it? actually yellow's turn i think so uh, yeah, i think so yeah so just a moment i'll take on his role i'll have to see where he is here at the moment and what are we going to do peace peacefully retreat i i think <laughs> that's the plan thought he was saying something about maybe betraying the alliance or yeah do you really think that's such a good idea? <laughs> <laughs> I think he was going to build another of those terrifying dreadnoughts. Yeah, and then he wants to attack white. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So, green, it's your. I do hope that's your plan, actually. <laughs> <laughs> um. Just some peaceful dreadnoughts. I haven't yet used my positron comp. Computers. Mm. Oof. I think I I think I need to research. I probably you are com coming to take that from me. Hmm. Do I want 
to risk it or I mean I could kill the but if if I hit with the blue die and the yellow die do can I kill like both of those at the same time or uh, no you have to assign one die to another one ancient and one die to one ancient so we will kill one and damage the other okay <coughs> hmm. okay but uh, hmm. yeah I think I'm going for the I'm going for the fusion drive actually because I I need some movement for my ships they are slow so I have to pay two for this yeah um, and I need to use my disk for wait a moment it's upgrade no it's research, uh, research. yeah I'm done. Blue. Great, so blue. I'm, I'm gonna upgrade. Give me some, uh, where is it? Rift cannon <laughs> and, and plasma cannon. Yeah, like this. Okay, I'm also gonna upgrade. I will move. So I think I'll wanna crack at these these guys. But I'm thinking, should I also go here? No, no, no. <laughs> as, as I said, that's a decoration. <laughs> yeah, that's what I feel. And I think as these guardians are slightly tougher than the standard ancients, I'll double on it oh yeah leave this guy here how much do they actually uh they take oh. take three damage to destroy them and they hit you pretty easily so i think i'll go all well, in almost that. as easy as you hit things yeah these dreadnoughts are pretty amazing i think but yeah green it's your turn yeah i won't do, won't do a th third move so i will upgrade and uh, I will buy now the or take the so I can take two things. Yes. So I want positron computers and the fusion drive for my. Where is it? Mm. You'll have to note that the fusion drive will take two energy to run it. Oh, I didn't realize that when I was. Yeah, that's uh, that's a thing you most often forget to check the uh, energy price and those. I can no, I can't. No, 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 no. I can, I can use it for cruisers. Yes, you can use it for cruisers, but as the computers, can, computers also take one energy. So that's Does the. It? Oh, so I can't use them both. Yeah, you can put them both on a cruiser. So then that was a bit of a miss to buy them well um actually on these textiles uh, which represent like uh, ship parts you can uh, if you look at them at very very closely you can check the energy cost of the uh, associated ship part because down here under the name on the right side of the tile there are these these small white lines ah. and actually the amount oh, of okay. lines is the amount of energy cost for the part, but that is something no. e very easily missed. Positron computer, I think, was the other one that I had. Well, I will then change my plan. So I can only assign one of these on one, each of my ships. Can I uh, build? Yeah, you can do. Okay, I'm gonna um, build. 
gonna build two uh, interceptors. Those rift cannon interceptors are always so intimidating. Yeah, here. And I already have five of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the worst part about them, because there is so many. I had to do something about those uh, cruises of uh, Tilarium. <laughs> <laughs> but your allies... <laughs> yeah, but I, I don't trust him. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I mean, well. I, don't, I don't trust you. So, yeah. Sorry, I'll be right back in just a moment. Sure. Yeah. Uh, uh, it, it's good for you <laughs> to try, do not trust me. It's always amazing that the guy who is allies with everybody starts building antimatter cannons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just as a, a precaution. <laughs> also, I needed it for the center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, the, that's the only reason. Um, yeah, let me see. Is this game always so uh, derived on luck with certain things? or? There is some elements on luck. Of course, the luck element comes from the uh, tiles you draw and the uh, dice rolls mm -hmm. are, of course, luck-based. But there are yeah. also things oh. that will balance it out, as we uh, saw with Greens. Mm -hmm. Starting uh, starting draws, it looked pretty bad for him at moments. Yeah. But as we look at him now, he got huge technology technologies from those. I'll research so I think, the plus I three computer. Is, yeah. I think there is just the right amount of luck in the game and with strategy. Mm. But that's of course my opinion and Eclipse is probably one probably my favorite game. Yeah, okay. Okay, yellow. Yes. So I will actually go for a research action and let's see I have fourteen. Hmm. Is it me or? No, no, just Yeah, I'm just thinking what I'm going to research here. I think I'll go with the Tachyon source here. Alright. Now. Is it now me? Yes, now it's yours. And I'll All be right paying then. 10 for this. Now I'll move, and now my interceptors move two with one. So yes, this guy goes here, and this takes one to the sluggish cruisers. There we go. I'm done. Blue, great. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do another build action. I'm gonna build two more interceptors. <laughs> Why do you need so many interceptors? They're cheap to build, that's the amazing part about them. Actually, my interceptors uh, are also actually quite great, so... <laughs> yeah, you both have now Rift Cannon interceptors, so those are really... really, really yeah. scary. Fine, I'll build uh, two bases. Okay, oh, can, can you have more than one base in an area? Yes, they're counted as ships, they're not like buildings in uh, the same sense as orbitals and monoliths. Okay, next. Hmm. So you have something that can shoot faster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whoa, what am I going to do? Mm -mm -mm. I think I'll go upgrading at this point with the few tachyon sources. Yep, it's green. Yeah. I'm a bit tight money-wise again. Mm. What I could do is actually yeah I will build
yeah I will build and I will use all my seven resources plus two of this and I will make two more of the orbitals somewhere so one per planet right uh, per sector per, yeah per sector I mean sorry yeah so And if I influence, yeah. what can I do? I can move one disc somewhere. Uh, two discs. So basically, uh, you you can two times you can take a disc back from a sector or put a disc to a sector. Okay. But I have to take the dis discs from here or other sectors. Uh, if you influence, you can, for example, take this disc and put it here, or you can take this sector and take it back. Oh, and actually, you can't you can't yet populate these orbitals that you built. You can only populate them at the upkeep when you can use your colony ships. Ah. So if you now put discs here, you can't use an influence action and flip your colony ships back. That's the one part of why yeah, you, uh, why yeah, you I, can only yeah, do okay. them at that point. Okay, so I have to put these back. Yeah, at the moment, yeah. the other one mm. okay but I can sort of count that I have coming for me yeah yeah, yeah. okay yeah all right yeah so done Yes. So what are you going to do? Whose turn is it? Is it me? You, didn't you just finish your turn? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I think you just. I think it's Blue's turn. Yeah. I okay, I, I pass. Okay. Hi. Okay, I'll upgrade. You put the... Okay, okay. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll pass also. So green. Oh. Has everyone passed already? Um, I can still take actions. I think I'm passing also, yeah. Okay, I'll upgrade. Oh, actually, I ha would have had the money to upgrade also. Sure, you can do that. Yeah, okay, I'll do, I'll do that also. So, I, what, which one was the upgrade, this one? 
so because I can no no wait a moment do I want to do that still sorry did you no. pass pass already no. Yeah, yeah, I I passed sorry. Yeah. No, I I won't upgrade here. Yeah. <coughs> so, so I mean, you didn't. You just barely passed, so I don't mind if you just. Yeah, do yeah, it. but I no, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Yeah, and actually, if you're taking a reaction, you will be taking your disc and putting it here on the card. Yeah, yeah, um, but I'm. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I guess no I'm, I'm again, and I'll upgrade once again. I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just preparing for later. <laughs> Is there anything you can even upgrade anymore? <laughs> Those ships, ships are huge. Yeah, I know. I can still upgrade a lot. So. <laughs> he still has empty spots on his dreadnought. Yeah, I'm amazed that there is still and empty spots you can, there. You can get, like, you need to get better <laughs> hulls for them. And... Yeah, but I, I, I need more energy first, I think. Uh, I'll just get more energy than that. Yeah, 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 yeah he already has eight, nine. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now he's... Oh. Uh, just a quick note, you don't have to put this here, you can actually put it here and oh, these two yeah, will... Sure. These two will actually oh. stack so that you're ridiculous. I know, but... <laughs> I was but to, uh, but do you have energy for that? Uh, yeah, just yeah. barely. He has oh. 11. So oh. just barely. So wait a moment. Are you now hitting on any anything? Yeah, except not on the uh, blank side. Yeah. And practically killing everything. Okay. Yeah. So, so hey guys. Uh, we're lucky that he doesn't have any any of those. <laughs> have any of them yet? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I won't do any reactions. Also. So yeah. he he's the fr friendliest uh, guy armed to thief. Yeah. yeah. Because he has alliance with everyone and oh, has the biggest I'll ships. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we are on to fighting. So I think there is two fights going on, and mm -hmm. I'll be I'll be the first. Actually, against this guardian. Mm -hmm. And these dreadnoughts, these are actually super slow, so the guardian will get to fire first. And he has plus two. Plus two, yeah, he will be hitting yeah. uh, hitting on fours. So one, one hit. One hit. Yeah, and I'll be hitting on threes, I think, yeah. Yeah, I think uh, I, dest I destroyed four him. Four hits, yeah. Yep. So I'll get to draw three reputation tiles, because the Guardian gives you two. Okay, green. What does your ship do? Um, first, I think I'll attack with the cruiser, which is using um, blue and yellow, and mm -hmm. hits oh, nice. on four, five, mm -hmm. and six, please. And so, let's do this. So that's plus uh, two. So three that's hit. hit. hits. So three hits on one. So one is dead. Yep. And one damage. Oh no, right. no, 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 no! It doesn't uh, trample. It doesn't spill over. And then I think it's my interceptor. Yeah, it has any sniffs for? So one damage on itself and three damage on the ship, so it's also dead. Yeah. So you so get to choose from three tiles. Two and three. Yeah, three is, tiles. It's the last one that I can get. And yeah, how, you can. How, how, you how can. high do how how high do these go? What? They're numbers? from one one to four, and after you okay. filled your all your spots, you can still discard the lower ones. That you don't want anymore. Okay. So practically, if you fight more, you will be, be uh, hoping for bigger tiles than you have at the moment. Okay. 
And then I get to flip this weapon. No, yeah. not a weapon this time. What that's actually it? that's an ancient tech. So that means that you'll be getting the cheapest technology that you don't already have that is available. And I think for you it's the neutron bombs. Or is it the nano? Or the nano robots actually, yeah. You can pick from those. These. I also pick the green one. Yeah, actually you don't even have gauze shield, so you can pick that one too. So anything of the first row. What is the gauze shields? Do I... Minus, minus one to hit you. I think... Building more on one turn is actually still quite good for me. I, I'll just take that. Plus I, I think I'll finally do... No, I can't still get any points for that. No, we we'll do, we we'll do upcape. Oh, maybe he wants to place a disc first. Yeah, he can influence this sector ah, first. Okay. Ah! I can it's influence it. Oh, oh, yeah. I have a colony ship, you can also. Yes. I can do that. Just yeah. check your upkeeps. Yeah. That you're not going bankrupt. I. Because it, it jumps from yeah. 17 to 21. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I have the two colonies here. Ah, oh, yeah, great. And there is some money for you here also. So. Yeah. Yeah. No let's problem. go to up, let's go to upkeep. I think. Yeah. So now I can flip all of these, and I can just do this. Yes, and then let's buy pay our upkeeps. So for me, I will actually be getting one. What am I doing? Um, Are you all done with your upkeeps? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, sorry, yeah, I can't. I can't use the brown one for the. Uh, it has to be science or. or yeah, no mat, or no mat, no materials on the orbitals. Okay, all right. Yeah, let's take our discs back from the actions. And let's go for the next round. In a build, one interceptor <laughs> and one uh, <laughs> orbital. Did, did we get something on the? Yes, there was some new tiles available. I oh, right. don't think there was nothing practically new to us there, but. I'm done. Um, I'll research for the anti-matter splitter. Ooh. Now it's gonna hurt. Next. Still, still, you're finding ways to get even more ridiculous with those tech and weapons. <laughs> yeah, I, know. I think it's amazing. Yeah, I'll also do a research. I think. Yes, I have fourteen. So I'll actually go for the monolith. And I'll pay nine for it. Also no uh, new Asian technology. No. 
No, they can they these relics come out randomly. Oh, okay. So sometimes sometimes there comes, sometimes there doesn't. Oh. You, you draw technology on the back and then fill it up. Oh, yes, in the in the real game you have like a huge canvas back with all the tiles and you, all technology, okay. Yeah, you draw I a certain amount. I I thought it was a separate to move these on the upkeep. Sorry, five and Hey guys, I really have to eat now because my girlfriend is waiting already an hour. <laughs> what? So, but I want yeah. to see your fight. Yeah, no, I know, but it's really getting, uh, really taking long. Yeah, yeah, this is a long game. So we're gonna, we've gotten a pretty good glimpse of the game, so if you'd like, we can all also quit here. Or, for example, after this round. That's perfectly fine. Yeah, and just count the score. Well, the, or I'll know who have uh, the most points. Yeah, Don't I think it's pretty interesting. Should we just me. should we just call it call it quits for this game and let's should we go to the scoring part? Well, I, if we are, I I would colonize maybe some of these planets. To, yeah, I, I think if we if we just quickly play through through this 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 round of the game and then okay, let's, for, let's forget the last round then i'll pass okay <laughs> oh. now, i think the downside with a long game like this is, is if you in the beginning make some yeah bad choices it's hard to uh, change your tactics <clears throat> yeah definitely <laughs> eclipse eclipse gets better with every time you play it because you remember yeah. from the last games which were which were the good strategies or Mm -hmm. Know to avoid something. Yeah, and I fuck myself a little bit up with my choke point with my uh, way of moving. Yeah. And I think I'm always the guy who goes for like uh, the highest amount of technology and I try to hide myself in a corner of the galaxy and building monoliths. Yeah. That's usually mm -hmm. my way of playing most of the time. Yeah. But also when you play with the different alien species, everything gets like really changed because everybody has mm -hmm. so. I think it's mine. I'll go with a build and I'll build one monolith for ten, and I think I'll put it right here. So if I use influence, I can just take discs from here and yeah, you can just take this from there and put it next and uh, in sectors next to places you already control. Okay, so I'll influence and then I can put them like here. Yeah. Oh, there and there. Yeah, that looks great. Done. Oh, I I could actually. Oh no, yeah. Good. I can't colonize on this phase. No. No, not yet. You can colonize on the upkeep phase only. Okay. But the last round that makes a little. There is not that much point in colonizing many places. Because only you, thing that. Still, do you still need to pay for the? Yes, you still pay for the upkeep yeah. at the last last yeah. round, but after that you actually use the resources only as a tiebreaker if there is a tie in victory points. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll also do one last research here. Let's see, for five I can take something I don't already have. I'll take the Tachyon. Of the fusion fusion drive. Oh yeah, yeah. actually, yeah. So green. Yeah. Um. So wait a moment. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Sorry. Uh, I could get actually one point from there. But I can colonize, yeah, I can colonize now planets on here. Yeah, in the upkeep phase, yeah. Yeah, to sort of pay for the... Yeah, alright, so I... 
we'll research and get something so I can get maybe one more point from here so uh, that I can get for where is my board minus three so I get it with five yes Where do I get the extra? Here. Uh, here from the back. Yeah. How do I get it? Oh, there. And I put it here. Yeah, on the track. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So blue okay, has I'll blue has passed. So wait. I'll build two treadmills. <laughs> Are you still fighting? I think this just shows how ridiculous those interceptors are. Yeah, just checking which can roll if you <laughs> have like eight uh, designs. Yeah. Whose turn is it? Uh, then it's, uh, yeah, no. it would be mine. So I'll be actually doing an influence action. Putting some discs down. Oh, you put a disc down there. I wasn't even watching. Well, I put one there. That's my turn, so green. Right, I will uh, research. So I will get the advanced labs. There, and I pay six for it. Yep. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Okay, yellow can. Yes, I'll do a research. I'll be taking these neutron pumps. For my last two science. Yeah, so green. Uh, wait a moment, I have... <laughs> this is some of the fastest eclipse playing I've ever seen. Six... Minus six from there, so that's what, eight. I need eight by that. Oh, I don't have eight. And I can't afford to go that. Do I have any money planets that I could colonize? I actually have one, so I can go to 24. That's four, five, six, seven. Oh, I can't still get. I can't get eight. Yeah. So. I guess. How much is this? Oh, can I can I buy this for the anywhere? Yeah. Yeah, just for the yeah. what's the lowest cost on it? Yeah, 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 yeah. and All put right. it on any so track. I will put it here, and I have to pay six for it. Six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Yeah, great. I'll build some more star bases. <laughs> if we are comparing how much resources we have, I I have none. <laughs> are, are the I'll pass. units worth anything? No. No, they're not worth anything in the end game. Okay. Okay. You I can check check also. here on the on your scoring scoring tiles. Where you get yeah. points in the last game. Okay, yeah. I'll pass. So we'll uh. get the blue to eat. <laughs> yeah. I'll oh. once again. White has all these extra extra di extra discs, so <laughs> you can just go on playing. Uh, no, wait, I will need this one. And. G oh, yeah. Uh, Are you still going somewhere, or what is your plan? Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to move. It's two dreadnoughts to here. I mean, it's a seven point area. That's a safe, safe move to do, because I don't have any discs to react <laughs> anymore. 
I didn't even realize that. <laughs> I think <should> come back. <laughs> uh, maybe I just want to keep one then. Mm. I mean, your Inceptor isn't that bad, is it? Yeah, yeah. they're not upgraded anywhere. Yeah. Then I'll just do that. Great, I don't have okay. any reactions to do. <laughs> okay, then I'll pass. Okay, and so then we go to the fighting ba phase where you can. I just want I to mean, see how bad you you'll ob obliterate me. You are first. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you I'll destroy you. Still. Gods of RNG, please. So you all ha only have to do what? Seven damage. Seven damage, and he hasn't. He won't be rolling any blanks. Oh, yeah, I think it was there. I think I was that. There. <laughs> it's only eight hits. <laughs> okay, so do we now call it uh, night? Uh, actually, at, in this sector, you would still have to attack my planets. Ah, okay. yeah. yeah. Uh, so you will have to roll once more to destroy my population. So just roll, okay. Yes. And for each damage you make, you will destroy one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And I'll be taking my disc back, and you'll be putting your disc in. But yeah, we could we could now call it a night. Mm -hmm. We can, uh, if you like, we can do uh, scoring just to get a glimpse of that. Bastard. I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I want to see how crazy, uh, crazily uh, white beat us. I do get some points from the research, obviously. Yeah, so yeah, now you can check on the uh, tile next to your board there. So we get, uh, for our reputation tiles, we could, at this point, we could just reveal them, what we got. <coughs> and you have this scoring system here, there next to your board, so you can actually add your score there. Okay, so which, uh, wait a moment, so reputation tiles first. Yeah. And after that, you'll get one point per each ambassador tile you have. And then we can check on our controlled sectors. Uh, oh, actually, so wait, a, wait a second, wait a second. Is that also as a reputation tile? No. I uh, got the trader, yeah. Yeah, you're, you, right. you're the trader, actually. I'm taking my ambassador back from you. Who? Ah. <laughs> and he gets the traitor. Yeah, tile. he gets the traitor traitor tile. What happens to the cube? I just put it on me. Yeah, you can put the cube on any track. And one from the ambassador, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, already. And then you'll count your sectors that you control. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 13 for me. And then... Uh, then you'll be actually counting the monoliths on sectors you control. And damn, I lost that one. But three points per I monolith. I have none. And then discovery tiles kept... Kept victory point side face up. Or in your case, you will be getting the points from this one, so you'll actually get four points. I, I, I counted that oh, you counted that already, that okay, great. Yeah. So, I didn't realize after that. Yeah, after that you count your traitor tile, minus two, here on white. That, progress mm -hmm. And then yes. progress... Only for the science, not three. <laughs> yeah, then you count the progress on each track, so you get points per... Per so the next not. number shown on you. So yeah, I think that's all set up. Did you all count your sectors and everything? Yep. Yep. Great. So it seems that... How far are you white? Uh, I think green destroyed us, like completely. 
and because of all the reputation tiles, I think. Yeah, he yeah. went he went for the early combats and he got also, all the big tiles. Because his empire, he does have like eight tiles. <laughs> yeah, that's huge. Nine. I got 19, 19 points from the reputation tiles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's and pretty basically amazing. Basically, went with the, with the ambassador. Yeah, I think so. because you went in the big fights early game, so you got the best pick out of the tiles you draw. Yeah. And that was a huge part, and also those crazy, crazy weapons you got. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. Well, it was yeah. fun playing with you guys. It was amazing. Yeah. Thank you all for the game. Yeah. And hope to Thank hope you to see for you the, the teach. Yeah, thanks. I always enjoy doing this. Hope to see you at Spiel some year when we get to. Yeah, certainly. When yeah. we get to an actual hope convention get, uh, again. Yeah. <laughs> we were yeah. there last year, but. Yeah, I've been there every year since 2015. Oh, yeah, nice. I was first, I think, 2016, and I've been every year after that. Oh, yeah. Or was yeah. it 14 uh, to Larion? Uh, I don't remember. Yeah, I thought 14 or 15 was the first time we went. Oh, great. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, thanks again. I'm going to quickly relieve my girlfriend of uh, <laughs> dinner duty. That was mine, actually. So. <laughs> okay, great. Okay. Hey, thank you thanks for the again. game. Man. Put, nice. us, put yeah. us a rate on bo nice. board game if you, you like the game. Yeah, we'll do. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. Hope to see you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye.